Hello. How are you doing? Are you having a fun Monday? How's your day going, guys? Hello, Plastic. How are you? You all doing good? You're eating right now? Sparkle, is that is that for me to, like, not say anything or tell any gross stories? <laughs> It's like, hi, I'm eating. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, no. How are you guys doing? You okay? I wanted to start as well um, by saying, like, uh, if you guys seen the video we put out yesterday, how uh, nice all you guys were to Steph talking about her um, disability and stuff. Everyone's been so nice. So I wanted to say thank you for that first. And also... I wanted to pitch something to you. I think you guys would want it anyway, but I like to get, like, you know, people's opinions before we do anything. And Steph said that she's cool with it, so I wanted to get your opinion as well. Is that, um, by talking about that in the video... Hello, oh, CT9, how are you? Hi, how are you? Um, through talking about it in the video, um, a lot of people who are in our community have said that, obviously, they have, like, uh, disabilities or things that they live with as well. And uh, I was wondering if it might be a good idea in the Discord to have a section where people can talk about it if they want to. Or, like, post things that are helpful to them, you know, like little foldable chair things. I've seen some people talking about that recently. Or, like, you know, mobility aids and stuff like that. You think that's a good idea? Yeah, I mean, I asked Steph first, obviously, because, you know, it's, it's, it's her. And I said, like, do you think this would be a good idea? And she said, like, she'd be cool with it. And, uh... The fastest way I could get, like, our community's, like, uh, opinion on it was streaming and, like, instantly nagging you. <laughs> like, how many, what do you think? Yeah, if you guys think it's cool, I'll, um, start making it after the stream then, if you guys think that's okay. Ooh, yeah, it's my, exactly, yeah, like, recommendations and stuff, yeah, stuff like that. And, uh, on the topic of the stream... We did this, didn't we? We did um, a Stardew Valley uh, community canvas, didn't we? Uh, last Wednesday. And I drew an Emily, which is here. And uh, I wanted to try and draw Penny today. I spoke with a disability. Now it's a good. Oh, thank you, CT. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. That's what I kind of want us to do with, well, like, with this idea. Is just to help people, you know. Help each other and stuff. It's the least I can do. With how sweet and supportive all you guys were, we were going through and replying and reading the comments and stuff. And everyone's been so nice and, like, shared their own experiences. It's like, oh my god, I want to do something for you guys as well. So, hopefully, that'll be a big help for you guys. And like I say, I'll start working on that after the stream today. I'll do that, like, after this one. So, thank you. I appreciate that, guys. But, yeah, I want to try and draw Penny. I'm going to leave her up there. Emily up there. We got, look how tiny that is. I want to try and draw Penny. It looks great. Yeah, I did a background. Oh! Oh, and I, uplo I uploaded this on, like, Twitter and stuff. And I didn't realize... I, for I forgot that some drawn, like, a little bit oof. And that that's in the picture. So if anyone asks, i drawn this picture, but I did not draw the little bit oof dude down there. <laughs> that was some, not me. <laughs> Do we play Stardew? Yes. Um, Steph's like super duper into it. And um, since the new updates come out, uh, we've been wanting to play it together. And we're tentatively uh, going to stream it tomorrow. It's just going to be me and Steph going through the update and you guys can like watch along. Because in the past, every time we've played Stardew Valley, and she always reminds me of this. She always says, like, oh, whenever we play together, it's always your farm and you get all the achievements. And I'm like, fine, this time it can be yours and you can get all the achievements. And every time we play, she's so bitter about that. I remember she was planting seeds or something. She was growing something. Because she prefers the farming and I prefer, like, the dungeon and cave things. And uh, it popped up, I got an achievement for farming. I was like, how did that happen? And Steph was like, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll try our best to do that tomorrow. Because um, obviously it'll be Steph's game, but we'll stream it through mine. So I can't imagine it'd be too hard. Oh, right. 
Sorry to like jump on you and ask you 20 questions straight away, but I appreciate it. I went to the dentist today. It was my turn. And uh, he's found two holes that need filling in about a month's time. It doesn't hurt though, which is the main, that's why I didn't even know they were there. And he was like, oh yeah, we found two holes and you need those filling. And I was like, oh yeah, that's fine. And then he goes, one of them's in your wisdom tooth. And I was like, oh yeah, the ones at the back. And he's like, yeah, when I fill it, it might really hurt. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and he said, if it does, we'll have to pull it. And I'm like, do I have to pay for the filling and then the pollen? Like, what are you... Is this some kind of dentist master plan? <laughs> like, oh my god, it's like, what? Oh my god, you know the... Oh, I was so embarrassed. Something really embarrassing happened. You know when um, they x-ray your, your teeth? And they make you bite down on something, don't they? So they can x-ray it. They, it like slips into your mouth when you chomp down on it. I don't know what he did. Maybe it was the shape of it or something. But I chomped down on it and it, I started gagging like immediately. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, never had, that's never happened. I felt so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Even that was it. Oh my god, plastic. That was his like thing. He just went, Oh dear. I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Cause he's been like my dentist for years and I've never done that before. I think he was trying to like deep throat it in me. I think that's what he was trying to do. He was like, You're going too far, stop. <laughs> and because so oh my god. I'll have to find it and take a picture of it. Because Steph felt sorry for me. She got me a dentist sticker with um Christoph. Yeah, with Kristoff on it that said, like, good checkup or something on it, because she felt bad for me. Have you still got your I have. It's on my desk somewhere, yeah. You better not have I'm not going to lose that. <laughs> yeah, the they're like a square thing attached to some plastic. Yeah, it's those things. Luckily, you only have to have x-rays and stuff done every, every so often. It's not like an every time thing, but I couldn't believe it. Everyone deserves a sticker after the uh, dentist. They don't, absolutely. Because Steph, Steph likes to actually says, do you want a sticker? And I'm like, nah. And she's like, don't worry, I'll pick one. <laughs> I always make sure I come back from the dentist with a sticker. You, yeah, you especially, yeah. Right. Let's do some drawing, shall we? Oh, of course, how are you? I'm just imagining a sticker book that gets filled every time someone goes to the dentist. Steph, oh my god, if she could, she'd steal all of them. And probably put them in that prompt book thing. Steph told me, she didn't tell me how many, but she told me the other day that I'm getting close to completing that. And uh, when we do, obviously, we'll do like a tour of it. And then I think she'll probably make another one. Would you guys be down for doing another one together? Would you let me give you another sticker book? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can get a sketchbook and you can fill it if you wanted to. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm so good at sticker prompts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, did you hear her? She says that she's so good at sticker prompts. <laughs> yeah, would you guys want to tour a bit? I'm so excited. You know the one that she drawn that caterpillar in, in the video yesterday? I'm uh, so excited for you guys to finally have a tour of that because there's some amazing stuff like scrapbooking and stuff that she's doing. That's really good. They've doubled their chuckles. Oh my god. Well, I appreciate that you're with us. The number one rule here is to chill out. So you can have a nice relaxing time with us if you like. But that's... A oh my god, that's so rude. I wanted to um, draw Penny holding um, with the poach, you know, like one of the dogs that you can have. God, I can remember playing Stardew Valley with Steph when you could only have one type of dog. And I think there's three now, isn't there? There might even be four. I don't know. We used to share the same farm, but it was before multiplayer. So we played the same That was the, yeah, we took it in turns. Oh my God, that's ages ago, yeah. 
Because, like, I'd come back on my lunch break. This this was before, like, we even did YouTube or anything. I'd come back on my dinner break and she'd be on the computer going, I'm playing Sandra Bathy. I was like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, CT9, no problem. You take it easy. Yeah, I found on my computer that one of my first achievements that I got on Stardew Valley was in 2017. 17! Oh, oh my god! So I'm gonna have like, gonna have like pooch. This, this, this bean looking thing is gonna be pooch. Hello, Rats. How are you? Oh, Rats, you left such a sweet comment on the uh, video. Thank you. I was hoping to see you. It is very sweet. Thank you. You're tempted to buy it on your partner's PC so you can play the update. Oh! Oh, Luminate, thank you for resubbing. How are you doing? But yeah, um, Steph and I haven't played any of the new... Well, she's played a little bit of it, but I haven't. And uh, we certainly haven't played the new update together yet. So that'll be a fun thing to do for us tomorrow. Now, Penny wears like a, it's kind of like a yellow uh, dress shirt, isn't it? I tell you what, I should do. I've got, I've got a reference of it from the game in front of me. I should just like paste it into the canvas, so you guys can. See, not that you guys don't know who Penny is or what she looks like, but there she is. There's like a, there's like a. I, I don't know if this is a meme one. There's, a, there's another one that I've never seen in the game before. So there she is. That's Penny. Also, worth noting, worth noting that I've noticed that Penny, her sprite, um, you know, like the actual little pig slot one that wanders around, like the map. Oh, the one that actually is in the yeah, game. She has like pigtails, so I think that there's supposed to be like two of those curly Oh, two things. of those curly things on either side. I've always wondered about her hair, yeah. What's this? Is this in the game? Is this like if you upset Penny, does she punch you? <laughs> she... It looks like she's selfie but also ready to punch that's not in the game <laughs> Penny's like what did you say <laughs> oh thanks for resubbing Samaya how are you doing it'd be hilarious if they added it there's one with the is this it? hold on then I've got a question then is this modded then as well hold on this one's in the related one to the penny one with the fist is this one modded as well? He's got like gold gamer cat ears. Yeah, that's modded to oh, that's a shame. But like he could be he's like the wild man, right? He could have found it in the trash. Like I found someone's gamer girl headphones. <laughs> so I put them on. <laughs> A high effort meme. It looks real, doesn't it? Like a real thing. Oh, Jesus Christ! Right. I'm turning. I'm turning the fake penny off. <laughs> Linus was your first friend. He needs a friend. I love Linus. <gasps> you got a mi oh, chocolate's got a mystery package. Ooh. And you've no idea, like, no idea what it could be? It's exciting. I wonder what it is. Steph gets really excited if she's told she's getting mystery mail. She's like, who's it from? I don't know. It's a mystery. And she's like, what's in it? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> what's in it? How, how, what, what's happening? Cleo on the Discord posted an avatar maker. Yeah, and she uh, did Steph and me. And like, um, it's really good. You should, the one that she did is Steph. You want me to show you? I know I'm getting all over the place, but this Stardew Valley avatar maker thing is like amazing. Let me show you like uh, Steph's one that Cleo made. It looks like just like her. It's crazy. Get over here. Get over here. I just need to scroll up a little bit and I'll show you it. Because no. uh, the the person that's obviously made the maker has like nailed the art style for it so well. It's like here, okay, here's Penny for example. Here, 
look at the staff one. Doesn't that look... Not only does it look like Stardew Valley, but it looks like Steph as well. Isn't that nuts? It's, it's wearing a yellow... Dressing uh, yeah, hat. dressing gown <laughs> and a yellow hat. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, isn't that awesome? It's so good. I mean, next to each other like this, you would think that, like, Steph was in the game. It's so good. Let's see if we've got her glasses. Like, oh! Samaya says, just needs blonde hair and it's there. Yeah, it's so good. I was very impressed. Cleo's always serving up the best stuff in the Patreon room. Oh, I've got such a cool TV, a TV thing for us to watch. When we do our next Patreon stream this month, guys. Oh, you're not ready. Yeah, we can do St. Trinian's if you like, but the, the two things I want to show you aren't like super long, but they're very good. Oh my god, I heard this song last night, and I wanted to know if you guys had heard it, because apparently it was like a meme song. Does anyone know the song uh, M to the B by Millie B? Oh my god, it was going hard. Froyo, you know it? Oh my god, it came up on TikTok last night. Steph, Steph was literally getting ready for bed, and then it started playing, I was like... <gasps> I was like, we can't sleep yet. Millie B's popping off. <laughs> Hello, Jack. How are you? Oh, it's bold. Oh, Chuckles, that's amazing. Oh, that'll be so exciting. A Blackpool classic. <laughs> Is she northwest then? I thought she, I thought she sounded northeast. Sleep has been cat. I'm so bad for it, Cleo. Yeah, she'll be trying to read a book or something to wind down in bed. And I'll be like, look at this frog dancing to this music. <laughs> look, look at this frog. You're angry at people, E-Check. Oh, no. You know, E-Check, I think it knows when I talk to you because uh, TikTok's been recommending to me, like, um, these weird, like... Uh, like, I don't know how to describe them, like, Polish sayings, kind of, and there's one that's like, oh, grandma's finished shitting now, and that means, like, the conversation's over or something. I'm like, is that real? <laughs> Poland has no chill when it comes to, like, just casual conversation. You love them. <laughs> By tomorrow you've forgotten about it? No! They're all from Blackpool, bro. That's amazing. They need to get her to sing in Blackpool Tower, you know, where they do the Strictly Come Dancing. Get her to sing while they dance. Yeah, Pol po oh my god, E-check. Polish TikTok is, like, insane. We'll have like a little, we'll have like a hand here, so we'll just do like a hand shape. And she's going to be holding Boofer. I can't remember, guys, what do you call, you know the pet that you can get in Stardew Valley, whether it's like a cat or a dog? Where dogs, where dogs bark with their asses. <laughs> when you guys play Stardew, do you pick the dog or the cat? And what do you call it? I can't remember what Steph and I called ours. Although if we play it like together tomorrow through Steph's computer, she'll be naming everything. You modded it to be a guinea pig plastic? Oh my god. I so want to play that guinea pig mod for Minecraft. I might do that sometime this week as well. Oh, 
Marmal oh, Marmalade Miso. Oh my god, these are really good names. Dog and Sprocket or Cocker. White Cat. Your name is Tofu. Oh, luckily, oh, that's so sweet. You name them after... Oh, that's so sweet that you name them after your um, your own animals. That's so sweet. That is... Laura will always be my cat. Cleo, oh, I'm going to cry. Also, Cleo, you're, canon you're canonically um, a low tad to me now. And just imagine a low tad with a little stumps on the computer. <laughs> I can't see it now without being like, oh, that's Cleo. <laughs> Or the, uh, what's your name? The no, because no. You're like a, a, a mixture of those two. <laughs> oh, you have a Mickey. Some, oh, that's really sweet. And again, because a few more of you have came in now, I wanted to say thanks to all you guys for being so sweet to Steph in the video we uploaded. I want to make as many people know. As possible, and we really appreciate it. You're all so sweet. I have like her other arm because she's like, what's it called? It's not. It's is it coddling or sw I think swaddling. We've been having to swaddle patches. You know when we were given patches as medicine, we had to be taught the art of swaddling. So Steph's like a swaddling pro now. Oh, Cleo says, thank you to Steph for sharing. And Echek says, oh, I need to tell her that cane is amazing. It looks so good. Oh, thank you. I got kind of overwhelmed with how many people actually ended up commenting because we don't normally get like... We don't get like a super number of comments, do we? But um, Steph was like, well, the first thing when we first uploaded it, she says, I, I don't want to check the comments. And I was like, well, that's fine. I'm too I can... scared. Yeah, I was like, I can, I can check them and make sure they're all okay. And yeah, she was just like, I'm too frightened that everyone's going to hate me that I'm disabled. <laughs> Are you listening to yourself? <laughs> you know what the internet's like? There's always, like, that one guy who's a No, child. even if there was, I would, I'd get rid of it. Because that, that's just stuff you don't need to see. But no, everyone's been so nice, I promise. That's why I'm being so, that's why I'm so thankful to you guys. Oh, Alexis, we could never hate Stan. The most fashionable Kane and Kane user. I'm so glad it's one of those folding ones as well, because um, even with Steph's like wrist strength, she's like she's able to take it apart and stuff. Oh, it's perfect. I think it was one of you guys, <coughs> excuse me, that uh, recommended the ones that fold away as well. So thank you guys. Yeah, Steph's gonna eat some paprika crisps to celebrate. Oh, Joran Pandem says, we'd never hate you for being disabled. You're perfect as you are. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, keep laying on the compliments. She's uh, She's got a chat now to, to bask in them. <laughs> she wants to eat crisps and read compliments. Sparkle says, we'll throw them in the trash if anyone's me. Throw hands at anyone being a dick that's there. She can fight people with a cane. I was showing Steph uh, this guy that has like a YouTube and TikTok thing where um, he has a cane and he teaches old people how to defend themselves with their canes. He's like such a badass. <laughs> oh, Samaya, that's so sweet. Oh, Samaya. You know, Samaya, Samaya's been a carer too. She knows her stuff. Jitsu. Me and Samara have bonded over being carers. Steph is officially armed. Yeah, it was a really big deal. So, like I say, all I can do is thank you for being so sweet about it. She's she's been wanting to talk about all this stuff, you know, to do with her health and things. I almost chickened out again. Yeah, she almost yeah she almost didn't do it, but um, she's been wanting to talk about it for a long time. Uh, 
like she said in the video, when she took that last trip and she got stuck. You remember? Because we um, it was say Patreon stream day as well for those that were there. And um, <laughs> no, and uh, I think it was that day when she got really stuck. She was like, uh, okay, maybe maybe I need to start addressing this and taking it a bit more seriously and stuff. So I'm very proud of her for doing that. It's very sweet. There we go. And this thing's gonna this thing's gonna be the dog. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god, it looks like me. <laughs> woof woof. Yeah, oh smoker, that'd be cute, yeah. She could put charms on her stick as well, because it has like um like a wrist thing. You know I I called it like a a, a Wii controller strap, but I'm sure I'm sure it has a better name than that. All the charms. Yeah, you'll hear her coming. She'll be jangling. Not defeating the dog allegations. Unicorns! It's that one in Stardew that has the dark coloured ears and he has like the void face. Oh, crochet charms. Oh my god, you can make it. You could make like a. You can make a stick holder, like a giant doily to slip your cane into. That's so Steph Core. We need to make that approach more cute. There's one with upturned ears as well, if I remember rightly. I think the very last time I played, there were three. There was the first one. There was the one with the down ears, with the with the look into the void face. And there was one with upturned ears, if I remember right. Oh, I can't find it as well, but I wanted to show you this video I found. Um, this person has a pet pigeon. And um, they, they'd left their vodka out and they'd gone out and came back and the pigeon had been drinking the vodka from this glass and the pigeon was wasted. <laughs> and when their owner came up to it, they were like, what are you doing? Why have you done? And the pigeon tried to fly away and he like sort of fell over and he's like, <laughs> how does a pigeon get a taste for vodka? For God's sake, it was, oh my God. <laughs> Polish, it might have been Ichak, yeah. Being like, oh, a pigeon, Karla. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that one I, I sent, um, I sent Ichak a Polish TikTok where there was this guy on the roof and like a bottle of vodka like fell from the sky that, was, that wasn't opened or anything and he was just like, oh, Karla. <laughs> He's like swearing at it. <laughs> <laughs> Poland is a magical place, guys. It really is. Oh, thank you, Raven. That's very sweet. Thank you. Oh, that's perfect. Thanks. I can put. I'll uh, put that on the canvas thing as well. Because uh, yeah, there's two of those that I don't recognize actually. Here we go. Let's bring the dogs over. Because that'll be a useful reference. Oh, it's a baby. Yeah, these two must be new. I remember these first three. I remember those. The, these two, though, I haven't seen before. They're very pretty. See, like, um... Border Collie, maybe, that one. That's like a Spaniel. Uh, Alsatian, I think? Golden Retriever? Yeah, I did that one with the void eyes. He's like, oh, oh, God. And I was, yeah, the fermented fruits are made. I've seen like a squirrel get wasted on them. I think like some crows do or something. They did an experiment and they figured out like with crows, they identified which ones were fermented because the crows like identify and enjoy getting drunk off of them. They, they'll go out and actually seek those ones out. He does. The third one's got those big stompers. There's no cues of Barbie. 
Which which dog would you pick out of these five then, guys? Oh, there's new cats as well, really? The grey one. This one? The like the collie looking dog. Does he have like a bandana on? Is that what that is? Oh, you're gonna show me? Yeah, right. If you send me the cats, yeah, I'll put those on as well. It's a little red bandana. Oh! I'd love to put like a little bandana on a poach. The Ger yeah, the German Shepherd one's called. That's gotta be a German Shepherd looking one, right? He's got the big ears. He's quite big. Maybe this one on the end is meant to be like a uh, a Labrador, maybe. Oh, like like um, bland Labrador, chocolate Labrador, maybe. And then uh, collie spaniel and German Shepherd. With cats, it's just like oh, that's an orange cat. I, I don't. I don't know the different types of cat. Oh, 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 these are good. Oh my god. Oh, they've done such a good job with the cats, haven't they? Hold on. Right, let me bring these over. Come here. Look. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, they've done a really good job with those. Let me, uh, let me move. There we go. Look at that. That's amazing. The two new ones are really cute, aren't they? Yeah, it's sweet that they've added a black cat. Yeah, that's really, really sweet. I like that. I like this one as well. Yeah, the pixel art that he does for him is so good. That's a gorgeous pirate. The Sailor Moon one, yeah! Yeah, just, yeah. oh my god, Ray, yeah, just like whack like a little moon thing on him. Someone's totally gonna mod that. My uncle owns a cat that looks like the black. Oh, really? Oh, it's adorable! Oh, yes, yeah, Samay, you're right, there isn't a tortoise shell one. Is that because, because I think it was Samay that told me, is that because tortoise shells can only be one gender, though? Unless it's very rare, right? You guys were teaching me all kinds of stuff about cats not long ago. I'm going to leave the animals there, because that's like serotonin. Oh, I can't believe there's a mod for guinea pigs as well. Oh, I want it. A rarity thing, the same for orange cats. I saw a TikTok about, of an orange cat that... um. It was walking through a fence, and as it put its head through, its back hips got caught on the fence. So it kept walking, and the fence was like swinging open. And it, the cat didn't realize that um, he he could walk backwards to get out. So he just kept walking and walking until he walked into a wall. And I was like, so is that what they mean by orange cat energy? It just doesn't realize he can walk backwards. <laughs> <laughs> trying the guinea plastic i want to try the guinea pig and i want to do the minecraft guinea pigs too oh i can just about uh, do minecraft mod stuff these days that one's not so bad i'm kind of Does it make him old? <laughs> oh my god, that's what I want to do in the Minecraft one, is um, make a guinea pig farm, because there's lots of different types. That would be so cool. Soggy old doggy. Oh, 
Oh, and uh, still on the topic of TikToks, guys, I've really got into a thing called Magnet Talk. Do you know what that is? It's where people uh, get really powerful magnets and throw them into rivers and try and get treasure. <laughs> it's like real life gacha. It's so cool. You never know what you're looking at on the internet, but it never fails to surprise me. <laughs> this guy found a safe with like a, a ring in it. It's really cool. But do you have to have it on like an industrial strength, like fishing line? Yeah, so it doesn't break. Yeah. yeah. And you have to be strong to pull it out. I wouldn't be able to. This guy, this guy went and did it in the Netherlands and he fished out like a hundred bikes. There's another one that I think is so interesting to watch, but it's so hard. It's a guy that does diving. And he helps uh, families find like deceased family members that have died in rivers and stuff. So it's like really, sa it's really sad. Do something like that, but he looks for cars. Yeah, yeah. So it's really sad and emotional, but it's so interesting at the same time. It's like, oh my god. Maybe it's like like morbid curiosity sort of thing. But I just think, it's, oh, so interesting. He found loads of nye. Oh my god, Frog, that's such like an English thing. <laughs> Let's go magnet fishing. Oh, look, we found the murder weapon. <laughs> yeah, strong magnets are so weird, uh, EJ. Strong magnets can make things like levitate and stuff. It's like crazy, like magic. Too many people in America just find guns. Oh, America's cool. America's awesome, though. Well, I say that. I say America's awesome. The more, like, I spend with people in chat that are from America, it's more so I find that the people in America are really cool. Like, you guys are really cool. The hydraulic press TikTok. Yeah! I watched them squash some flowers, and it got, like, all the water out of it. It's really weird. And he crushed, like, some post-it notes and they exploded. It's like, why? How do they store magnets? Well, magnets are like, um, before a magnet becomes a magnet, it has to be, um, you have to charge it. That's how, like, a piece of metal becomes a magnet. It has to be given a magnetic charge. So what they'll do is they'll probably store, like, a big block of whatever, but not charge it, because then it's just, like, a big useless block. And then if it gets turned into a magnet... They'll magnetize it and then, like, ship it off. So that way you don't get anyone, like, with fillings walking into the magnet room and getting, like, their teeth ripped out and stuff. <laughs> ah! I always remember I was fascinated by the magnets that they used in uh, Jackass, like, years ago, where um, a guy made a suit of armor out of trash cans and then um, he got, like, attached to one of those big, like, car magnets. <laughs> Oh God, that makes me feel guilty about when you made that YouTube thing and I put trash in it because I didn't realize you wanted to keep it. Yeah. <gasps> you can make another one if you want to, and I promise I'll trash. No, I want that one. I want that oh, one. No. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I lost your belt. Oh. Okay. Or even now. <laughs> well, Steph's playing Stardew right now, but this is her own private one. Yeah, you talking about Stardew Valley? Oh, all right, that's awesome. <laughs> Have you guys been enjoying like the new update thing that's come out for it? I haven't even played like the update that was like prior to this one, so there's lots of new content for me to do. Oh, nice. That'll be the same for me then, because I think the last time I played it was with you. Huh? Oh yeah, you've definitely not seen me. Adam's trash can idea was so good. That's from Cleo. <laughs> you got slimy cactus furniture. Did you guys know that um, camels can eat cactuses? I was showing Steph a video of it today. <laughs> like, like straight up, the camel will go up to the cactus, spines and all, and just chomp on it. I was like, oh my god. Just go, um. You'll be able to buy Stardew on the left. Oh, Smoker, this sounds so cool! I'm gonna give him brows. Oh! And you can't wait. I'd love to see you eat a cactus cat.
Considering how popular Stardew is, though, you you wouldn't think that Nintendo would want to like drag their drag their feet with it, would you? How long does it normally take for uh, Stardew to update on that? I eat cactus every, every morning. Yeah, he's slowly turning into like a bug. I should merge all these layers down, though. I've got too many. <laughs> Murder the layers. Sometimes I wanna. A zonkey? Is that like a zebra and a donkey? I saw a video recently of a horse seeing a donkey for the first time, and the horse was like super intimidated and frightened. He kept going, <sighs> he was like really heavily breathing at this donkey, and the donkey's like, calm down. You We're... sometimes heavily breathe when you watch TikToks. <laughs> it's because I'm intimidating, I'm, I'm like, I'm uh, doing the horse. Okay. I wanted to like breathe with the horse to get in his brain. Oh, did you see that one, Eche? The horse, his eyes were really big, and he was breathing really heavy, and he was like, nah, I'm not having any of that. Oh, if I give him, like, a heart nose, he's starting to look a bit like a bat. That's not what I'm going for. You agree with Samaya? That's a dangerous game to play, Sparkle. <laughs> the horse had an uncanny valley moment. It's like, what is that? It's like me, but smile like that. How dare you? <laughs> it takes more work for a console. I wouldn't even know to... Um, I wouldn't even know, because obviously he, he does it all with Stardew. He does everything himself, doesn't he? So it's like... You've, you've, you've gone through all that learning process to like make something for a PC. And then you have to do it for a console. Sometimes different ones. And then Mac, which is going to be different as well. It's like... Must have a giant brain. I don't know if he does it for the pot. I was going to say, because, gosh. There must be so much work. I'm scared because you're yeah, usually right. You're not always right. That's a weird ass looking dog. Nintendo has their own too. Yeah, that would make more sense, Unicorns. Imagine like a multi-billion company like Nintendo being like, oh, if you want a party, you've got to do it yourself. <laughs> no, why? It's like, oh, we're too, we're too busy. Does, like, in the new Stardew Valley, does, like, Grandpa talk to you again, or is Grandpa, like, gone forever? Can you, like, re resurrect Grandpa and bring him back? <laughs> He's gone, but there's a new note from him. <gasps> you get a note from Grandma? Shit, the bed. Really? I like the oh my god. I need to make the farm good for grandma. Anything with old people makes me emotional, but oh my god. Like when um 
Oh my god, when uh, you see Grandpa after the third year and he's like, You've done so well, I can pass on. I'm like, Grandpa, no! You don't need eternal rest, I need you! <laughs> don't leave! He's like, Oh, you've done such a good job on the farm. <laughs> Get a phoenix down for Grandpa. Well, we only have his ghost. Don't you need a phoenix down for his... Where is Grandpa buried? Oh, no. Where is he buried? Is he buried in Stardew Valley or is he buried somewhere else? Oh, my... Sunday, <laughs> Oh my you can't say that about him, but no He's in that terrible table bed. That's what killed him. I can't feel my back. It's like hold on, Grandpa. No it for too long. He would have wanted it. You ain't grandpa. Oh my god. No. Just don't get it from Cloud. Was there a Final Fantasy update recently? I saw a video where Cloud went to the beach and he checked out all the girls. Oh my god, you guys with the rigor mortis, we just like fold him into a bed. So, guys, why are you so dark today? Oh my god. That's Rebirth. Yeah, Cloud goes on holiday and he looks at all the bikini girls. And I think there's a, seg a Segway or something. You know, one of those wheeled things. I'll see you soon, Lex. Thanks for coming to see us. Take take it easy. Your filter's gone. That's fine. I'm still trying to learn what mas mask off is. I keep saying to Steph, like, oh, I, I had a mask off moment. And she's like, no, you didn't. You don't even understand what that means. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, think I, get I think I get confused with... Taking my mask off with being honest. I think that's what confuses me. Yeah, you say it as like, uh, oh, I'm going to be so like bitchy and sassy or something. Yeah, take my mask off and be bitchy. <laughs> that's right, right? Really? <laughs> Oh my god, there should be a mod where um, you can fertilize Grandpa and like he grows into a tree. And the tree grows and then it grows like a face like in Pocahontas, but it's Grandpa's face. I want to feed the Grandpa tree. Unmasking means you don't hide your more visible symptoms like fidget and making those. Oh my god, I never take my mask. Well, maybe I do take my mask off then. Fertilize. Did I say fertilize grandpa? I mean, turn grandpa into fertilizer. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, turn, gra <laughs> turn grandpa into the thing that helps trees grow, not fertilize grandpa. He's already, he's been, he's old. He's been through enough.
And then Phelan, oh yeah. I can see why Steph relates to it so hard, yeah. I knew with, with you guys and Steph, I could learn just about anything about anything. Moving less. Oh, I hate that. When I used to have, exa you know, like school exams and you have to sit still and be quiet. Oh, I'd hate it. I'd always wiggle my foot around and stuff. It's like, oh my god, I gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. And it's because, like, in my head I was told that I'm not allowed to move and I have to be quiet. And that makes me want to move more. Everyone's like, shut. She's like, well, I got shut for. <laughs> Cleo says, Steph using a cane is technically unmasking her physical disability. And then does the colon three face like, mm -hmm. Yeah, I felt like that felt similar to masking, but like disability masking. That's, that's going to be a thing though, right? Based on like what you and what you guys are saying. There's definitely people that relate, which it's nice to know that there was humans like me out there. Was unmasking like sometimes when I would come home from school I'd lay on the bed and hold my arms up and then just let them flop down? Is that like unmasking? Like you, you imagine you're laid on your back and you hold your arms out in front of you and then you just let them flop down. Why are you laughing? It's a dreadful mix. <laughs> laughing about unmasking? Oh my god. That's... Is it random? Oh, see, e check does that too. e check gets it. Steph's, Steph's like, why are you on about? <laughs> I think you've been on TikTok for too long. No, I haven't. <laughs> this is a safe place for me. <laughs> oh, no. When I'm trying to sleep, I tend to flop around a lot as well. Do you guys do that? I need to get comfortable. Yeah, Sparkle. And it's the worst in summer because the more you flop around, the warmer it gets. I saw a thing recently because I get restless leg, which is, I don't think that's like an unmasking thing. That's just like a thing that happens. And uh, apparently to help restless leg, you have to take magnesium. I, like, I didn't even know magnesium was in me to begin with. Apparently it like stems from like a lack of it. I was like, oh. Leg cramps. Oh, have you guys ever done that thing like when you're getting ready for bed or if you wake up in the morning and you do like a really big stretch and then like your calf muscle like feels like it's like clenching down on you. Okay. <laughs> oh god! No. Oh, it's horrible. Why does it do that? That's like, why haven't we evolved past this? It's trying to kill me with my lack of magnesium. Oh, Paprika, I'm glad you're here too. It's nice to see you. I've evolved past that. Yeah, you evolved straight into prison, cat. Where you belong. They see, they know that you're too powerful. That's why they put you in jail. Cat's built different. I still stand by the fact that when I say that Steph's built to last, that's a that's a compliment and she thinks it's not. She thinks it makes it sound like she's like a, a big like truck. She's built like a bus. You wanna get yourself get yourself a girl that's built to last, guys. A girl that's sturdy. Sparkle says, in my opinion, being durable is a good thing. <laughs> Resilient, that's a good one. Good word.
built to last, you know, like a good shed. <laughs> That's true. When you build a shed, the shed's for life. You know, when you build a shed, how many sheds do you think people will buy in their lifetime? Just one. No, my granddad's had two. <laughs> yeah, but oh god, the things he gets up to though. He's a working man. His grandpa asked me why I chose my boyfriend. I said, he's sturdy. So yeah, grandpa would appreciate that. It's like, he wants some he wants someone sturdy to look after their grandchildren. <laughs> Yeah, Unicorn says sheds hold fun things. And so does Steph. <laughs> You've destroyed shit. <laughs> you hold the guinea pigs while I clean them. I took a picture of Patches this morning. With like his, his angry like non-morning person face. He looks so angry. On the, on the cushion together, yeah. I got a picture of them sharing their big cush. <gasps> Marder, thank you for resubbing. Marder says, it's nice to get an update on Steph's mobility journey. I definitely hope the cane helps and allows you to stay active, dear. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's very sweet. Thank you, Marder. It's very sweet of you. She holds treasures. What, a dressing gown? It's probably like biscuit wrappers and tissues in those buckets. Sometimes Patches leaves things in my pocket. Yeah, Patches <laughs> might leave some hay or a poo in there. Oh, and I haven't thanked you guys either for, um... Helping me get to a hundred sales of dogs with jobs as well. You thanked them in the beginning of the video. Yeah, but not on Twitch though. Oh, That's okay. what I'm saying. The people like here, yeah. I want to make sure I'm very grateful and let you know I'm very grateful. Yeah, well. <laughs> you're going to go chill and play Stardew? Samir, you're a girl. Can you do both? Can you can you stay here and play Stardew? Stay with me. Support me, Samir. You never come to the street. Oh, <laughs> Guys, I'm only joking. I know Samaya. I know Samaya. She's cool. You don't want me here. What are you talking about? Okay, that's not a joke. I think she's took it too far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fine, Jelly. No, that's not a problem. It's not like a, it's not like a call to action to be like, oh, buy more. I just want to say thank you to you guys. Yeah, 100 copies, I was so like, oh, but like pleasantly surprised. You sometimes say that I'm pleasantly plump. You are. <laughs> I call Steph pleasantly plump or plumptuous. That's like voluptuous and plump together. Plump. That's because I accidentally said that. Yeah, that's a good word, isn't it? Plumptuous. I get meaner every day. What are you talking about? I am a saint. I wonder if there is a Saint Adam. It's quite a biblical name. There's got to be at least one, right? I love pleasantly plump. It's like a peach. Peach is a pleasantly <laughs> plump. Or like um, a pomegranate. Call your name and say, Summer. Right, let's stop playing my music now. Let's put some chill music on as well. Uh, let's go look for something. Oh, and do you guys in a bit? Yeah, Summer, that's cool. Don't worry about it. I'm only, I'm only yanking your chain, Summer. You can do whatever you want. Um, Do you guys want to uh, play City Guesser in a bit? I keep meaning to ask you to do that, and then I forget. So if I get it in now, I shouldn't remember. I, sh I shouldn't remember. I shouldn't forget. Your boyfriend's been calling you cute-ster. Like a cute monster! Oh, that's so cool. 
But the one thing that Steph really hates is a pet name that I call her. Is that Don't. <laughs> Nobody wants to be called that. I've been censored. <laughs> she stuck to me, so I can't tell you. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I can't tell you what that one is. <laughs> did, did you did you hear that? The like, Don't. <laughs> She's been doing it since, like, you very first met me, and so I'm not It's nostalgic, it's sweet. It's not nostalgic. It is, it's, it's a cute name. She was, oh. This place is a prison, guys. I can't say or do anything. Find something else to say. <laughs> find something else to say. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Find something else to say, boy. I thought she said you called her... D what? Dumbed? <laughs> well, according to Steph, the thing that I actually called her is probably way worse than that. Abrika says, if you said it, the first thing I'm replying is, I'd never call you that. <laughs> oh, domed? Like a dome structure? I, don't, I think so. How would you guys feel if someone bumped into you and they went, oh, you're looking rather domed today? <laughs> you're reminding me of the Millennium Dome. Uh, you, you remind me of a large entertainment centre. <laughs> that sounds like one of your compliments. Yeah. I would slap them on the head. You got such a large entertaining world. You look like, like you can hold a few thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> you die? No, don't die. A really weird butt joke. <laughs> Your butt's looking really domed today. I'm just drawing through poach. I should have done this to get the face right to begin with, really. So I'm just going back and changing these. Looking domed up today. <laughs> now, the thing that Steph says not to tell you because she hates it, you'll never get it. It's such like a random... Well, it's not even a random word. It's like a, a, an amalgamation of words. What he invented. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I did. Oh, is, uh, Ray, are you still here, Raven? I got a bone to pick with Raven. Raven! I don't think her avatar's down there. I think she's buggered off. <laughs> it's my, my great mods, guys. Humble applause for so much. Thanks, I worked hard. That reminds me of um, it was a Jim Carrey joke. It's one of his films where the woman says to Jim Carrey, "I'm I'm gonna make your life a living hell," and he was like, "Oh, that's very sweet, but I'm not looking for a relationship at the moment." <laughs> I was like, "Damn, <laughs> that's a good comeback." <laughs> <laughs> the curiosity is killing you oh i'm sorry not without steph's permission i can't say it you'll have to butter her up you don't even have permission to say <laughs> this place really is a prison You should post it on Discord. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> now, nah, them's the rules. If Steph don't like it, I have to don't call me. <laughs> in private, though, that's different. <laughs> Saying it on the internet's like oversharing. In private, I can do what I want. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, you're blushing, dear. That means you love me. A new Patreon tier. I want like a thousand dollars. Learn all the pet names that we got. <laughs> Are any of you guys? Oh, speaking of D twenty, yeah, for um, persuasion. Are any of you guys going to get that new Dungeons and Dragons uh, Lego set they announced the other day? It's expensive, guys. I wish I could get all the animal Yeah, those are really good as well. Yeah, they've been releasing some amazing stuff recently. Oh, you want to buy it for your boyfriend? Oh, clear. I'll buy it for your boyfriend. That's so sweet. Oh, you made a new character, Paprika? What are they like? Have we done a community canvas stream yet where we draw like our own RPG Dungeons and Dragons characters? I know we've done like an OCs one, but I, I wanted to... Because some people make like Dungeons and Dragons like monsters and things and animals and stuff as well. It might be nice to do like a dedicated... Uh... Well, you could draw Sylvia. She could be. She could be like an ice mage, and that's why she has ice skates and stuff. She can use ice magic. She'd be terrified. She's a precious baby. Paprika says his name is Frumpty Dumpty, and he's a wizard with a giant ass that casts thunderclap with his ass. <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> okay, you've got Ritter Spot Orange. He needs oh. more orange, really? I was Strawberry yogurt one that only got me. Yes, oh yes, you love that one. You could do either your actual D and D character or OC. Yeah, as a certain classy. Oh, that's a really good idea, Echek. Yeah, because then if you don't have one, you know, like Steph, she, you can have your character dress up as like a mage or a monk or the bard. That's a popular one, isn't it? She could play the bongos. Tesco's? Oh, that's crazy. We don't even have a Tesco's here. I would draw the shit out of Frumpty. I want to see what Frumpty looks like, Paprika. I think that's a good call. The local te prison's got Tesco's now. Need to find a Hopefully, Chuckles God. Hopefully, they don't work you to the bone for too long. You're entitled to like your downtime. Do we have like his ear going off this way, like uh, he's smooshing his poach face into it? Like, what? I want to give him, like, big dark eyes, but I can't resist giving him, like, little possessed, like... Alright, <laughs> <laughs> I might be out of line this soon, but I'm going to take a quick bathroom break first. I'm going to write B right back here. So now is a very good time if you haven't because there's always one of you if you haven't taken your pills or if you need a drink or something like that or you might need a drink to take your pills you want to have a massive poo. <laughs> or, or like steph if you want to have a massive <laughs> poo, you can do that now so you give me a minute i'll just make sure that steph's got a drink and everything as well and i'll be right back with you guys okay so make sure you take them pills because i will ask you hold on i'll be right back
What are you doing? Did you all take your meds? You better have done. I knew there's always one of you that has them. Oh my god. Take your meds! You did for me. Oh, thank you, Plastic. That's very sweet. But also take them for yourself, too, by the way. Snacks, pigs, they're angry that you went through the kitchen. Oh, the pigs, are, the pigs are upset that I went through. I have to go through the kitchen to get to the bathroom. <laughs> and they're upset that I went into the uh, bathroom and didn't get them anything. They were angry that you had a letter earlier. And you yeah, didn't... they got mad that I went to get the post. I was like, oh, I, there's nothing here for you. It's a free thing. Patches wants a letter too. Patches isn't allowed letters, so he's a guinea pig. Where are you? I said, just because I get up. <laughs> Every time I get up, it doesn't mean that I get up for you, you fuzzy monster. Hey, when Patchy said he disagrees. Oh, but I love you so oh, look at you. You're so cute. There you go, sweetheart. Who's a good boy? He's a big haggard fella. Okay, I'm coming back. Oh. Where's his fan mail? Now we keep getting sent... I don't know about you guys, this is like more of a UK thing, I suppose. At the minute, we keep getting sent letters from the Conservative Party, which is like a... <laughs> yeah, which is like a, a Democratic Party that you can vote for if you want to in this country. But for some reason, they just keep sending us letters. They sent us one last week, and they sent another one today. Sorry. <laughs> no, he's not. Oh my god. Hey guys, I got Steph's cold in front of it. Oh my god, Steph. No, that's very sweet of you, Penguin. Thank you, dear.
You have both of our books now. Oh, Penguin, that's so sweet. That's very wholesome of you guys to do that, you know. We really appreciate it. Because I feel like you, you uh, guys already do so much for us. And the fact that you get our books as well, that's honestly so kind. Penny's got quite a big head, so I'm going to give Penny a, a bigger head too. There you go, it looks a bit more portion. You can keep... Cleo, that... <laughs> Sorry. A few people have said that like, they want to get two so they can colour one in and then just keep one. I think that's so sweet. Like, the fact that you guys would want to get one at all, you know, that's... That's just so sweet. Sell it for millions in 50 years. I'll come and find you. <laughs> Underground coloring book trip. I had no idea that coloring books were so big until uh, Steph started doing the work. You remember her one? that she started doing uh, last year. I had no idea they were as popular as they were in until she started doing hers. You know, like, uh, colouring books that are, like, for everyone, like, even people that are, like, you know, grown up and stuff. I, I was clueless to the whole thing, but it's, like, a huge... like, a huge thing. People love colouring. So do, like, um... Therapists uh, here as well, like in the receptions and stuff, uh, when Steph and I were doing hours, they were putting um, a lot of colouring books in the reception area for people. So like if you're in the waiting room and if you felt a bit anxious or a little bit unsure, um, there was um, colouring books for the adults to use and Steph would use one. Oh, Ethan, yeah. I'm really glad that they take to Marcus so well. That's awesome. Ooh, that's a... Oh, my God, yeah, using it to practice stuff. I, that's a really good... I would never have actually thought of that. That's a really cool idea. Ooh, Copic Chows. I do like the Chows, too. I think, it, I think we have the Chows. Yeah. yeah. Well, what are the other ones? This Very good, dear. There's Chows, and what are the other ones? I can't remember the name of the other ones. They're like slightly thicker, aren't they? Is it Copic 2? So like... Oh, uh, chat saying Sketch? They're the same kind, aren't they? The two and the Sketch ones, I think. Uh, there used to be ones called Two, because there was an artist on DeviantArt that when I was a kid, I was like, oh, they're so good at colouring, and I'm sure they, had, they used Twos. Yeah, I remember an artist on DeviantArt, and I was thinking that they had, like, the best colouring that I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> the link to uh, what it is that they use, but the link to, like, a full box of, like, Corpix. Oh, no! Yeah, that that costs a fortune! <laughs> yeah, and it said that it costs, like, a, about two grand or something. Oh, my God, what? <laughs> like, in today money, that would be, like, even more. Chow is the smaller. Yeah, the chow. I think we've got the chow ones. Yeah, the small ones. Sketch of Fallen in quality. Oh, no, really? It still blows my mind that outside of, like, Japan, Copic stuff costs a fortune. But over there, they're so cheap. The same with Screen Tone as well. Screen Tone you can literally buy in Japan for, like, like a pack for, like, a couple of dollars. Whereas outside of Japan, it's, oh, it's a fortune. That'd be a fun thing to stream again as well. Now the uh, the light's getting better. It's to do um, a traditional uh, screen tone. Yeah, people really like it. Traditional things. Some of you 
All unicorns, no! As a, as a teen, I felt I felt terrible because I couldn't draw at all. I would go on DeviantArt and look at all these cool things. I'd be like, how are they doing that? I don't know. I don't understand. Oh, Cleo says, when I go to Japan, I'm going to buy so many stickers for his <laughs> That's sweet. That's one of the few things where Steph, normally Steph's like, oh no, you don't have to get me anything. So the, but if you say like stickers or stationery, she's like, how many? <laughs> <laughs> how many stickers and stationery are we talking? I could be convinced. I still remember the ones that Cleo got me before with the little food groceries. Yeah, the food ones, yeah. Oh, she was obsessed with them, Cleo. You can post stickers easily too. Yeah, that's true. Has anyone played Stardew Valley and done that Easter egg where you where you do all that crazy stuff and the children all like get taken away and vanish? I wonder if there's like a speed run for that. The fastest way to make them all disappear. Turn them in, oh, so turn them into birds? I thought they would all like van would like disappear. The sacrificial is that what it's called? That's kind. Of, that's kind of cool, actually. You wanted the achievement. I'm gonna look at expressions for Penny, but she's quite a neutral person. She doesn't have very much. She doesn't really have a lot of like. Uh, like, you know, like big smiles or anything like that. She's quite a reserved little lady. <laughs> Just like you, my dear, yeah. <laughs> a new duck song? Who? Are we talking like a duck that lives in, like, in real life, or...? Oh, the Swagwell says that is the one. Yeah, apparently he's released a new song. <laughs> oh my god. In the year of our Lord 2024, Lemonade Duck still putting out bangers. The game's making you a dear to family. Oh my god, what are you doing? I guess it kind of is. Oh my god, guys. Um, then next time we watch stuff together, there's this TV show that I want to watch with you. And it's, oh, it's incredible. It's like an old 80s one, which already makes it amazing, because you know how great those are. And it's a TV show called uh, Interceptor. And what Interceptor is, is it's a TV show where there's two contestants, and they have two backpacks with sensors on. And they're in two different areas of the same town, but they don't know where the other person is. And if they meet up, they have the keys for each other's backpack and they win the money inside. However, this is where the interceptor comes in, which is this crazy Scottish dude who flies around in a helicopter with a laser gun trying to shoot the backpacks and he screams like an eagle in the helicopter. It's so cool. <laughs> Your definition of cool is very different to mine. And he scares the contestants. He, <laughs> he chases after them in his helicopter and he goes like, rah, rah. 
It's oh, it's so cool. I'm so excited to watch it with you guys. I seem to have really spoken to. Dream job. Yeah, just fly around in a helicopter scaring people. Oh, it's oh, it's amazing. My description doesn't do it justice. I'll see you soon, Penguin. Yeah, take it easy. You look after yourself. Batman villain vibes. Can I try and find you a picture of the Interceptor to show you what he looks like? There. <laughs> There's a picture of him sneaking up on someone. That's him about to scare one of the contestants. He's go he goes like Rrr. He makes this like weird bird sound. New meme image just dropped. Do you wanna see him? Do you guys think he's smash or pass uh material? His name is Sean. Okay, there he, that's his laser that he shoots the people's backpacks with. He flies helicopters, he drives cars, he rides horses. He would like commandeers anything to try and like catch the contestant people. He's unhinged. Smash, but only if he does the bird sounds in the bedroom. <laughs> You walk into the bedroom, Clear, he's got petals around, and he goes like, oh, oh. <laughs> It's like, oh god, it's the Interceptor! <laughs> Here's a picture of the Interceptor stealing a boat. Where's that hand going on the Interceptor? Oh my god. He's reaching for the Interceptor's Interceptor, oh my god. Oh, and it has like the most like 80s looking like title card thing ever. Look, 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 he's got his gun and his like 80s hairdo and his big helicopter that says G mean because he's a mean G. Oh, and here's the backpack thing. See? You see, like, the little backpack has, like, little laser sensor things here. That's why they're, that's why they're facing it against the wall, because he wants to shoot it. He's making bird sound. <laughs> it's so, it's so good. He's, like, unhinged. I'd def smash if he looks more disheveled with that coat. I'd imagine he checked, like, you go to sleep at night, you open your eyes, and that's looming over you. <laughs> Do you want to see a picture of the Interceptor with his bird friend? He's, se he's sensitive too. Look, he loves animals. There he is with his bird. I think he can talk to the birds. He has written. They'll all be like, oh no, I fell over. What will I do? I promise you, it's incredible. A game of playing hard to get. Oh, he can ride motorcycles as well. He God, the Inceptor can do everything. No wonder he's so cool. Oh my God, look at this. Oh man, he's so cool looking. 
Look at him at the back of his Maserati. He's got a Maserati, look! And that's his motorcycle back there. He's got a big house. Even as a personalized registration plate, those are expensive. A four-letter one, that's gonna that'll save you back a few thousands, that one. A four-letter license plate. Okay, so, you've convinced Catkins, they're gonna marry him. He's clearly rich. I'm crushing on him. He's so good at making Do you want me to just Do you want me to give you a taste of him? Do you want to see like his bird calls and stuff? Hold on. I'll show you I'll give you a, a Ace, the sample of the interceptor. Hold on. You ain't ready for it, though. I swear to God. Do, 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 do. Right, let me see if I can go and find this for you guys. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Interceptor TV show. Oh my god, they're all on YouTube. That's amazing. Oh! oh my god, they go to Norfolk. They go to Kent. They go to Derbyshire. I just really want a picture of him like screaming, but intercept. No. Should we just do the first one? I'll put the intro one for you, eh? How's that sound? Hold on. Right, let's go find this music to turn that off. Where's my music? There we go. Right, Interceptor Man, where are you? Oh, oh, let me move. Hold on, let me move him over. I just won't be able to see his beautiful. Yes, he does commandeer a train at some point, yeah. Hang on, let me turn it up for you. It's his gun! <laughs> Shoot! This is amazing! Bum 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 there he is. Ooh. He's got moves to ooh. Are you telling me that this doesn't look cool? Oh yeah, the little swoosh sound is his gun. And behind me is Leeds Castle, known as the loveliest castle in the world. Originally a Norman stronghold and later converted into a royal palace by Henry VIII. My job today yeah, is that's to Henry the eight sold gap, that is. contestants Candy and Mark Look Dickens, at the size of those walkie-talkies! Oh my god! Other, ...within the 40 minutes allowed to win the £1,000 prize money. Hello, Hello. to both of you. Hello. Candy, you seem like an ideal candidate for this programme because I hear you've climbed up Kilimanjaro in Kenya, is that right? Yes, yeah, it's the last six hours are the toughest. Really? Yes. I don't and like the contestants already, I hope world. he wins. Yes, it was wonderful. I'd recommend right, where is he screaming? I need him screaming. And how do you keep up with him? I don't want to ruin... <gasps> uh, where is he? Oh, this is amazing. I want to get a bit of him screaming though. Where is he? Oh yeah, that looks like they're having bees in this one. Oh, there he is. He's running in this one. He's getting away. 
Scream into Scream. Scream. Just one scream, it's all I need. I thought that's what you wanted. No, you wanted. I don't know what you up there, I don't know what she was. I thought that's what you wanted, me to move away while you weren't riding. No, you just tell me what they're doing, mate. That's what you're up there for. Yes, sir. It's okay seeing all this stuff now. She's gone. Oh, he's a bad boy, too. Yes, Mark. Now then, listen. Have, can you see the farm yet? Mark! Did, and I'm sure Candy and Mark did. We had a wonderful time, and I think that horrible insect villain is lurking around here somewhere. So they did very well, jolly bad luck, and we'll see you again next week. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> did you see it? Well done. One more time. Well, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did, and I'm sure Candy and Mark did. We had a wonderful time, and I think that horrible insect villain is lurking around here somewhere. So they did very well, jolly bad luck, and we'll see you again next week. Bye. <laughs> that was worth it. Oh my God. <laughs> so they did very well, jolly bad luck, and we'll see you again next week. Bye. That's what he does. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> It's official. Joel Ross doesn't miss a trick. He's spilling every And he says that to them to scare him. Eleven on challenge for the Wrestle Talk TV gang. Now this is what you call fighting talk. I can fix him. But obviously throughout the episode as well, he'll like do his little bird screams. Right there. I love the interceptor. Right <laughs> <laughs> I would scare. Imagine you're at sea and you hear that. That'd be terrifying. Oh my god, he's so mean to them. Would you really want to be mean to your helicopter pilot? I mean, I'm pretty sure he could kill you both. And he has an accent too. He's Scottish, guys. You guys like the Scottish accent? Does that do anything for you? I just like. <laughs> oh, he's amazing! I'm so excited to watch like an episode with you guys. Oh, that totally makes sense that he makes bird sounds. Maybe he, maybe this is like his uh, persona, the bird. Always on the move. That's his dad. I, why won't you be proud of me, dad? He re he's really like, like... Composition's great. He's like higher up. He's like the alpha over the interceptor. And the interceptor's like looking longingly into his eyes. The eighties are a different. Guys, it's all the cocaine. That's probably what. That's probably what he was on. He was like in a cocaine, like dosed up rage. <laughs> that, that image is awesome. <laughs> Goes, sir. That is not the accelerator. <laughs> Right, let's carry on drawing, shall we? I'm so excited to share the interceptor with you, though. He's so cool. Oh, 
I also want to watch that uh, thing with you. Um, God, I, sent, I sent it to Steph because I knew I'd forget the name. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Oh, the short that Studio Ghibli made called On Your Mark. It's the, that one about the angel that falls to earth and like some policemen look after it. That's only like five minutes or so, though. I think it, I think they made it like a music video for something. Ooh, peanut butter crackers. That sounds pretty nice. There we go. So I think we can try and line this a little bit neater. And uh, hopefully put some colour on it, I think. Thank you for uh, letting me show you guys the Intercept. I've been so excited to like share that with literally anyone that's willing to listen. Someone ate the rest of the peanut butter? No! Oh, you know what I've been trying to make for Steph? I need to make it for her today. I, mean, I want to make her uh, a cheese toasty, right? So kind of like a grilled cheese thing. But with the cheese, it has cranberry sauce in. Doesn't that sound good? Hello, Melanie. Thank you for resubbing. How are you doing? And I wanted to ask as well, other than the Stardew Valley update that's just come out, are there any games or anything coming out that you guys are excited for? They've announced the release date for the next um, Final Fantasy expansion thing, which is kind of exciting. And that's probably the next thing that I'll probably get myself. Oh, God. oh, is that the one unicorns that's set in the city thing instead? Oh, Fantasy Life, Cleo. That one's going to be um, a multiplayer too, so I'm going to play it with Steph when it comes out. It's like the first ever multiplayer one, isn't it? And Steph was like going absolutely nuts. <gasps> Same, honestly, plastic, yeah. Like, these days, I, like, and I said uh, to Steph in the past, like, I'll get attached to one game and just play that loads. <laughs> oh, Epic Mickey rebrushed. Is, is that like a remake of the original one, is it?
Yeah, is that the game with like his friend like Oscar in or something? He has like a rabbit friend? Is that the, the same one? Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Is that like his friend or a cousin? Ooh, Resident Evil. I never, I don't think I've ever played one. Resident Evil. It was you guys that told me about Weevil Wednesday. And they have like shoes. When was the last time you guys drawn a weevil? I think last I think the last time Steph drawn a weevil was to explain to me what Weevil Wednesday was. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Snoots and boots. Oh my god, no, tell a lie, actually. Another game that I've been playing recently is, uh, it's a game called Motor Town. And all you do in Motor Town is drive different cars and trucks and play pretend to be, like, a truck driver or a taxi driver. <laughs> and just, I'll pick up hitchhikers. And it, you can play it online and stuff as well. And I've just been playing a lot of that recently. You're I'll... probably starting to notice that Adam's favourite theme of games is transport. Yeah, I, it is. It really is. Yeah, I've been enjoying playing those recently. Not to brag, guys, but recently I was promoted to limo driver, and that's kind of a big deal. See, if I was to invent a game off the top of my head... I call it school bus simulator and Adam's already bought it. <laughs> you get to drive the bus. I know you guys want me to drive a train for you again, don't you? I need to do that sometime. Driving a train for you guys. Driving a train. Because trains are really. Messing with Sims on a diabolical level. Rats, no! You can't endanger the people. That goes against the code. Oh my god, is that like an autism thing? Wanting to drive a train strictly to the rules and not break any rules, even if you can? That's how I play Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> yeah, well, the last time, yeah, when we played Grand Theft Auto, we got the dog and we just took him to the beach and played, like, fetch with <laughs> <Yeah>. him. <laughs> That's how I play. <laughs> Unicorn says, I've been playing Pony Town. I just make ponies and decorate my house. Oh my god, we should stream that. Like, when the new one comes out, we'll just roleplay being a normal citizen in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> like, step style. Like, stop at stoplights and stuff. <laughs> If we see a gun, if we pick a gun up, we have to, like, take it to the police station or sell it. <laughs> because we don't believe in guns.
Oh, I'm excited for like this RPG like community canvas thing. Guys, if I had an RPG class for me personally, what would it be? And what would staffs be? What would your guys' be? Do you guys have like a personal preference for yourselves or? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, it'll be Easter time in Animal Crossing again soon. The Easter song is quite a banger. Steph would be a healer rather than a fighter. Is there like a class that's good with animals? Because she loves animals. Is there like an animal class? Melanie says that I like feeding and caring. <laughs> it's like a chef or something. A druid or a ranger? Yes, oh, yeah, as long as it's got, like, you know, like, nature-y animal vibes. I think Steph would take to that pretty good. Steph could be, like, a druid that can crochet. Oh. A druid you can turn into animals? Oh my god, you can turn into, like, a guinea pig or something. Or a capybara. Oh, you guys know so much about, like, classes. That's so cool. What about, like, you guys personally? Like, do you guys like to play as or identify as a certain class thing? I don't even know what they all are. Beast Keeper Ranger gets a companion. Oh, so you could have, like, a guinea pig companion? I'd call him Truffles. <laughs> Truffles. And he has a special move called the Truffle Shuffle. Barbarians and rogues. Ooh. Oh, I got a necromancer card? Oh, do you get like a skeleton dog or something? Have any of you ever been a gnome? That's a Dungeons and Dragons thing, right? I saw a gnome today, it was a wizard one. And it was like a foot tall, it was huge. How did you forget that it's a gnome? You never forget a gnome, honey. Otherwise he might come visit you in the night and go, <laughs> You just got gnomed, honey. <gasps> Luna, you being a gnome? <laughs> <laughs> a changeling what's that i'll see you soon plastic thanks for hanging out with us though thank you world of warcraft is that the one where everyone looks like they're made out of play-doh I remember when it first came out, I didn't like the graphics very much. And I had a vendetta against it because my computer couldn't run it. <laughs> that made me that just made me sad. <laughs> Stop it, Lord of Warcraft. They can take the appearance of other people? Ooh. Oh, that's sneaky. So they can pretend to be other people?
It's been heavily updated. It's been... Oh, God. It must have been going for years now, that one. I thought I changed him as like a fairy folk. Like, I can only go off like what you got. I'm clueless with it, so. Actually, no, it might be better with just like void eyes. Yes, big void eyes. Oh. Do you guys think, you know, this like whole like Switch 2 thing that's meant to be coming out? Do you guys think they'll do uh, another Animal Crossing for it? I hope so. Up against the... Yeah! I mean, it did so well before, so... I just don't want them to abandon it. It's really fun as well, because that's a really... That... The, like, um, Animal Crossing is, like, a really fun game to uh, stream. Because, like, you can play it all at the same time and check stuff out together. It's, like, perfect for that. Oh, don't even get me started, Cleo. Like, how does Pocket Camp still go and get all those updates and stuff and all the furniture? And they won't do it. Oh! Oh, see, so trash. Take it easy. I don't understand. Changelings. What's it? I think I'm getting it confused with the teeth. Teethling? Are those are the ones with the tail, right? And they have horns. I think we've drawn some of those before. Teeth. Teeth. Tef, you know what I mean, right? Teethling. You know, like teeth. Tieflings have demon blood. Oh. oh, that sounds cool. Does that mean are they are they bad, or or can they be good? They can be born of human parents and be cursed. <gasps> I smell a tragic backstory coming on. I like that. <laughs> I'm not like other tieflings. <laughs> That'd be me. I'd be a sassy tiefling that's like, I'm not like other tieflings. I have a tragic backstory. 
I say that like I'm not like other D and D characters. I have a tragic backstory. I wonder how many Dungeons and Dragons characters over over the world have tragic backstories. It's gotta be it's gotta be a few. Over ninety nine percent, and that was two people straight away. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> Is it oh wow, so you can like change like halfway like through? Like from what was that, half orced to a tiefling? I'm not looking at the tieflings, I had a happy child. <laughs> oh, no. I had a loving family and I went to school and I got good grades. So, oh my god, you're really not like other ones, are you? There are ways to it. That's so cool. That's amazing. I guess it makes sense why, like, people who do art and stuff are so into it, because it, it just seems like a really, like, creative, you know, imaginative, like, thing to mess around with, you know? Like, if you've got a good, like, visual, like, imagination, I guess, I guess it, like, plays to, uh, to your strengths. Yeah, I really like doing the doodle quest thing with you. Like, it'd be a f it'd be really fun to do like an extended one of those one day. But you just have to have the guaranteed people, you know, that would come. And I feel like that's too much pressure to put on people that come to watch. That's why I tend to just like make it up as I go along. I hope you're able to uh, <clears throat> get back into your one as well, Truffles. That work's got to slow down eventually. It can't be busy all the time. What I might do is finish lining this and then do you guys want to play some of the city guesser together say i didn't forget look at me oh, a big old brain because what they oh yeah chuckles no that's fair isn't it because um if they're not looking if they're not looking after you and you you know you're clearly working hard you could be appreciated somewhere else for all the work that you're doing, so... I remember in an old job, we had like a really nice boss, and so it was really busy that time. And he was asking people to come and do overtime. And they said to him, like, look, look this needs to stop, I need like a day off, and if I can't have it, I'll just have to go somewhere else. And he got really upset, and he was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, how can I be mad if you're being so understanding? It's like, oh, I'm so really sorry. I feel like this one should be a bit shorter. Maybe, maybe there, because she's like holding him, like a rounding kind of thing. Fucking the poach. Yeah, like that maybe. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Now then, should we put some colour on it? Let's see. The worst part about the whole thing is you manage to try to push it. Oh, that's such a thing. Yeah. 
such a mood. Like, the people that will never feel that, like, squeeze of the extra work. He's like, oh, it's fine. No, it's all, it's all okay. What color eyes does Penny have? Are they green? Is Penny hair? Is Penny? I really I don't really know what Penny looks like. And she has brown? Brown hair? This is the character that I married. <laughs> this is like, why were you? Why were you again? What do you look like? Green with ginger. Oh, she's a redhead, really? Oh my god, redhead's cool though. And I'm legally obliged to say that blonde is too. Because otherwise Steph gets jealous. <laughs> if I say like, oh, red hair is pretty, she'll like bat her eyelids and go, what about blonde hair? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. I have to sing it, sing that song to Steph, that Nanolan one. Who's that wonderful girl? It's you. She's like, oh. Who's that wonderful girl? Every time my boyfriend calls my hair pretty, I tell him to shut up! Yeah, could she be any cuter? I saw- oh my god, Clear, it was so weird. You know how you mentioned, like, we were talking that they did a convention thing and you said that someone got married? Um, it recommended that video to me yesterday, so I saw it. It was like a guy with a beard and a, and, uh, a girl in a dress. And he proposed to her, yeah. In front, in front of Nanalan. Nanalan. Is that is that the little girl's name, Nanalan? Her name is Mona. So who's Nanalan? It sounds like an internet company, but it's run by grandmas, Nanalan. Oh, and there's a dog in it as well, but I don't remember the dog's name. He's named after Nana's land. Oh! So is Nana the main character? I can't I'm learning Nana, Nana land lore. Russell? Is the dog called Russell? <laughs> oh my god, that's such a cute dog name. Russell. Mona's the main character, but the show takes place in Nana's garden slash land. Oh, is it Jack Russell the dog? Oh, that's sweet. See, that totally makes sense. Oh, what a baby. Guys, I'm trying to think, you know, for the Discord, I'm trying to think of like a name. For the, uh, like, the disability and mobility server thing. Is, 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 like, is disability disco? Is that insensitive? I just thought it sounded cool. <laughs> Next. Disability disco? Disabled people are allowed to go to the disco. Exactly! I don't think it's offensive. <laughs>
Guys, you know, my number one fear is, like, accidentally insulting someone. I can't handle that, oh my god. Being so blissfully unaware while you're making someone upset that- oh no. Disability is not a bad word, no! Right, let's see if we can put some some shadows. I need to go with a color like this. Let's see. Not that one. There we go. Right, let's see. Should we use a soft one for this? Some people think that it is. No. I just want the one. If we're if we're going to be making one, I just want it to be like a nice, chill and safe space. You know, that'll hopefully help like Steph and, and you guys, of course. I'm proud of our Discord thing. I think it's full of really nice people. Oh my god, she wears lipstick, doesn't she? Does she wear pink lipstick? Do you guys wear lipstick? Steph? Steph has in the past. You know, not to brag, but... Before Steph and I lived together... Get this right, this is so... This, this is like, oh my god, she's so into me. She sent me a love letter, right? And she'd sealed it with a lipstick kiss. Like, <gasps> I've still got it somewhere too. You know, like where the, you know where it's like sealed up? <laughs> the envelope, she kissed it. Seriously, I've still got it somewhere. I was like, oh, damn. Oh, black lipstick, Cleo, that's what, I don't think so. The one that Steph did for the letter was, uh, it was like a classic red one. Although she did have a goth face, why don't? think Steph ever had black lips. I'm trying to think. She... No, I was going to say, because she shared pictures of, like, her different, like, fashion face things that she went through. But, um... No, she was She's never been super big on lipstick, to be honest. She likes her eyeliner and her wings and stuff. I feel like those are quite... I only put that on when I was flattening with you. I've never on Oh, you. really? Oh, my God. Because, <laughs> like, so many people draw you with... <laughs> you put lipstick on to, like, impress me. <laughs> and to kiss your lips on. <laughs> Oh, that's so sweet. I didn't realize you did that. That's so nice. <laughs> no, you don't need. You don't need to cover up them smooches. <laughs> I think Steph has like such naturally nice looking. You know, like pink lips. I think the color of them's nice. You know why? Why mess with perfection over there, dear? <laughs> oh, she's blushing. <laughs> <laughs> She acts all bashful on stream, guys, but outside of streams, she, like, bats her eyelids and she's like, oh, you think I'm hot. <laughs> it's like, yes, dear, you think I'm pretty, don't you? <laughs> oh, do you get dry? Do you get dry lips, unicorns? Are you? That's so weird. I used to as a kid. 
And uh, my mum would get me that, um, I can't, I don't know what it's called. The lipstick for Vaseline. your lips. No, not Vaseline. It's the stuff that tastes like milky bars. And my mum had to take it off me because I'd try and eat it. <laughs> Steph is confident, girls. It's interesting, yeah, she's very confident, like, in of herself. But, like, like I say, if it's stuff with, like, her mobility and things, she's, uh, she's getting better with it, which is wonderful. But, uh, when it comes to stuff like that and disability things, she's very, very shy and nervous. So I'm hoping some of that natural confidence, eventually, will shine through with this as well. Especially with all the sweet stuff with, with that you guys have been saying. Like I said at the start of the stream today, it's uh, all the stuff that you guys have been sharing and, and telling her. It's it's really helped. I can't thank you enough. It's uh, very sweet. Because not only, you know, she's made herself vulnerable, but it's made you guys come out and say, like, oh, I, I've got this, or I've had to buy one of these things, and it's really helped and stuff. It's uh, I think she was feeling very sort of worried about being judged or alone in it. But it's uh, the fact that all you guys have come out and said these things has been such a big help for us. So I really appreciate you guys for that. It's very kind. You eat chapstick rats? That's okay. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> you see us in like the makeup or like medicine aisle with just empty chapsticks around us like, uh oh. <laughs> Leave me. Oh, oh that freak is a step is everything, goals. That's all sweet. Oh, it's true. Yeah, Cleo. It was. I was surprised the other day. Um, chat was telling me that uh, they were draw that someone drawn. Um, I think it was a Dungeons and Dragons character that had like a fantasy themed wheelchair. I think it was. And it, like, kicked up a fuss on Twitter. People saying, like, no, not in my fantasy. You can't have that. Like, I, it, oh, it blew my mind when you guys were telling me about it. A fantasy setting where you can literally have and do anything, but you're not allowed a wheelchair? It's a, what? It could be... It could be a magic. It could be a wheelchair that like floats and fairies carry it, or like or like a giant badger chair or something. Oh, that'd be cool. A chair on a big badger. That'd be awesome. It just doesn't make sense. It could be literally anything. Anything. <laughs> oh my god! I saw some people. I think some people just make stuff up just to you know. They're like, oh, I'm gonna have a good argument today. And they go looking for it. Creston's like that patches. <laughs> yeah, Creston does like a good argument now and then, yeah. If Creston feels like he hasn't been noticed for 10 minutes, <laughs> he likes to let everyone know about it. Sassy, but he's very sassy. Yeah, he knows he's a show pig. He was bred to be a show pig, but his eyebrows made the breeder abandon him. Oh, I'll never forgive that breeder for that. I know, but he's a he's the sweetest baby. He's not. He, sh he should never have been exposed to any kind of trauma. He, Creston, didn't trust people for such a long time. Oh, it made me so mad. Cause he's so sweet. Oh my god. He trusts me. He loves me. That's a big deal. He's a trauma baby. He's a trauma baby. It's got intense trauma. It's not a baby. Yeah, Full Metal Alchemist, yeah, because, like, um, Erwin, or, uh, Edwin? I don't know. The guy with the metal arm, that that's one. And there's the Tin Man. He, he like, all of his is kind of like a prosthetic thing, because he's, like, a big metal dude. Oh, he has a leg, too? I've only ever, I don't think I've seen him naked. Do you want to? Well, apparently he's hiding, like, secret things, yeah. <laughs> hiding secrets. Brendel had secrets. Brendel had secrets. He did. Brendel used to hide poos in his tummy hair. Those were his secrets. Don't tell everyone I'm straight. <laughs> He'll be like, no! His secret tummy poos, because he had thick hair on his tummy. He wears shorts. Oh, 
Now he's speaking to me. I wore shorts yesterday. Oh, I felt so good. That kid in the Pokemon game said it right. They're so comfortable and easy to wear. Oh, did you talk about the update about the burglary? Oh, right, no. Um, you know, this is going back a couple of months now, guys. But do you remember when I said I told you the story of when I went to the shop and it was being robbed at the... Well, I went in and then it was being robbed at the time. And uh, they, like, trashed the place and left. Well, it turns out that when they trashed the place and left, the guy that was doing it uh, went on to go and stab someone, and he's in prison now. So apparently the police were saying that we were very lucky that we didn't get stabbed. So I was like, thanks for telling me. Like, some things I don't need to know. <laughs> he stood, he pushed me. He stood right next to me. Yeah, the, doc, the guy did, yeah. Yeah, he could have stabbed me. But he didn't. Well, he stabbed someone else, which was a shame, obviously. I don't want anyone getting stabbed, but... Uh, yeah, he could have got me, or the guy who was running the shop at the time, or, or the lady that was upset by it all, yeah. Crazy! I had no idea. You'll be having nightmares. <laughs> no! Oh my god, Cleo, no! That's the thing, though, like, in this country, unfortunately, especially with how things are at the minute, that's how common it is. You know you know how people always say, like, oh, America and guns and all that. But because we're so strict with guns here, our, our version of it is knives, unfortunately, because they're very easy to get. But no, I'm just grateful. Obviously, it didn't happen. Nothing bad happened to the people who run that shop as well, because they're very sweet. She, uh, the lady that runs the shop was telling me that it's uh, Ramadan month this this month. She was t telling me about that. I was like, oh, that's cool. Because I like the last time I learned about that was probably in school. I didn't realize it lasted for a month. That's pretty cool. And Easter, so when is Easter? That's soon as well, isn't it? I'd like to try and get... Oh, no, we already did get one, didn't we? I was going to say, I, I wanted to try and get Stefan in. Yeah. Although I wouldn't object to another one, because I get that one. <laughs> it's the same idea as Lent being 40 days. Oh, great. Right. Next week. Oh, it's the f Oh, it's on April Fool's Day, is it? April's a good month for people in the UK, guys. That's when energy bills are supposed to go down. So, ex so excited. <laughs> and it's like, the energy companies is like, oh, we're helping our community. And it's like, you're not. You're just lowering them because it's going to be summer and we're not going to be turning on the radiators anymore. <laughs> it's like, oh, man, we're helping your community. It's like, you're so full of you-know-what. That's That's not true. Yours is going up in July? Is that... Do you guys use, like, a lot of fans in Poland in the summer? Easter is Sunday. Did you guys see that thing that people think was Jesus' tomb? It kind of looks like Fred Flintstone's house. Have you seen it? Because I was researching Easter the other day. Trying, trying to make my brain big. Oh, the subsidiary for inflation. It's ending, but the but the recession hasn't ended. That's not fair. <laughs> Why would they take it away when the problem that caused it hasn't gone away? It's got 120 rats. Do you have air conditioning or anything? That's insane. I need a sunny day because I need to wash um I need to wash a blanket. Oh you're in Arizona Oh Arizona that well that is the desert rat. You're a desert rat. 
But no, the reason why I need to watch it is because, let me tell you a story. <laughs> let me tell you a story, right? I was putting... Every time it's a story, I always come back to someone. It's you! You're the, you're the subject of this story. You know you are. <laughs> um, I, Steph and I went to bed together. We, and uh, last this was last night. We were getting all cosy. And I noticed that the blanket wasn't pulled up. And Steph normally, you know, she gets cold very easily. And she likes to have the blanket up. So I put the, so I pulled up the blanket closer to her, and she was like reading a book. Then after like a couple of minutes, she pushed the blanket away, and I didn't notice. So I was like, oh, she must have moved, and the blankets moved. So I put the blanket up to her again, and she moved it. And I was like, oh no, what's wrong? And she was like, oh, it's the blanket. And I was like, oh, what's wrong with it? And without hesitation, without hesitation, she goes, smells like balls. <laughs> oh, excuse me. How do you know what? How do you know that? That's how are you so well acquainted with that smell? Because it smells like balls. I was like, oh well, I'll wash it. I'll wash it then. And I says to her, how do you know? I, I, maybe I should sniff it. And I should say it smells like vulvas. What do you think? And then Steph misheard me, and she said, why do you think it smells like Volvos? And I was like, what the car? <laughs> oh my god! I was like, fine, I'll wash the blanket. God knows what ball smells like. Even I, even I don't know. Can you imagine that? It's like you're getting all cozy, you're trying to settle down for the night, and then you get accused that your blanket smells like nuts. <laughs> Cleo's like, what is the smell, Steph? Please describe it. Smell like balls. <laughs> How can something smell like balls? And this morning she had the cheek to be like, you'd be honest with me if you rubbed your balls on the blanket. <laughs> and I was like, yes, I would, yes, I would tell you if that's what you wanted to hear. <laughs> but I haven't. She thinks I'm like a dog, like, scooting around on it. I'm like, no, I haven't. I, I didn't do that. He checks as I'm a hollering. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. Steph doesn't seem to, like, socially, Steph doesn't have, like, a social filter. She'll always tell me what's on her mind, and I, I, I do appreciate that, though. It means we get to the bottom of things easily, as you can tell. Peak autism, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I wouldn't change it, though. Not at, not at all. We might have been the only people in the whole world to have talked about that tonight. That's pretty unique, isn't it? Aren't you finding your fingers smell like balls? Also? Yeah, but did they address it to their partner and hint that it was their fault? <laughs> <laughs> like you did? <laughs> you bugger. <laughs> the way she's like, smells like balls, then looks at me as if to say, like, and you're the only one that has balls. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> well, let's think logically. <laughs> now you're starting to sound just like her. It smells like balls. How dare you. <laughs> you tell everyone on stream. <laughs> well, it's clearly nothing you've done, <laughs> isn't it? And then, what am I saying? Neither have I. <laughs> it just get Blankets get stinky. Oh, that was a specific type of stink. How are you so well versed with what balls smell like? <laughs> you giving gonna give me a complex? Do I smell like balls all the time? <laughs> the mystery of the ballsy blanket. <laughs> That's a stank. Oh, sorry, cat. Oh no, cat's mum heard me say balls. <laughs> sorry, cat's mum. You said it so many times. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I don't want anyone to get into trouble. I just smell like balls. Oh, yeah. Odd or that. She won't think you're a cute dog anymore. But, like, cute dogs, like, 
clean their ball. Well, guinea pigs do too. This one person online that has a guinea pig's getting older and he's uh, got arthritis. And uh, he struggles to clean himself, but without fail, he's always able to accidentally guinea glue himself when he's cleaning his nuts. So, like, their owner's like, oh my god, he's got arthritis and he can't really walk properly, but he never fails to, like, accidentally guinea orgasm on his face when he's watching. <laughs> so that's such a guinea pig problem. <laughs> That's what they call it. They call it guinea glue because when um, when guinea pigs reproduce, it's very, very like glue-like. And sometimes uh, a male and female guinea pig can get stuck together, and you have to take them to the vets to get them removed. It's uh, it's that it's that like strong like glue. Uh, pa uh, Bumble did it to himself once yeah, when he was he watching. It. <laughs> yeah. Bumble did it, and um, it, he wa it, he waxed like a, a patch of fur off his nose, and it had to grow back. <laughs> You're like, oh, Bumble, what are we gonna do with you? Do do do. You never know. Yeah, guinea pigs are like crazy. They're very. I think pigs are very unique, and. Uh, that comes with some very unique situations that they find themselves in. Oh, I need to show you. Oh, there's a really cute photo that Steph was sharing with me the other day that I need to show you. Hold on. I should be able to find it pretty quick, but it's it's a guinea pig, so it's going to be cute. Don't worry. So hard your hair pulls out. <laughs> There was this rescue guinea pig um, that went that went kind of viral. He was very popular on the internet, and he was called Vlad. And uh, they called him Vlad because he's a guinea pig with only one teeth or one front tooth. So they call him Vlad the Vampire. Isn't he? A, isn't he? A, look at his little tooth. <laughs> And he was he was a rescue, and uh, no one wanted him, so they adopted him and brought him home. He's like, um, I think he's a Himalayan with red eyes, red-eyed pig. It's kind of like with black cats. Guinea pigs with red eyes struggle to find homes, so it's sweet that little Vlad's managed to find a home. And he looks so happy in his new like cage thing. Like, look at look how happy he is in his new house in his little tooth. Oh, boom. <laughs> His knees are so happy that he has a home. He's like, oh, wow. <laughs> oh. oh, one of your hairless rats has red eyes. It's such a shame, rats, isn't it? It's like, people are like frightened of them, but, you know, they can't help that. And they're no different from any other rat or guinea pig. They just, that's just how they look. Yeah, but that's it. That's his name, Vlad the Vampire. It's adorable. Some of Steph's first guinea pigs had red eyes. They were called Candy and Rosie, and they were white with red eyes. Sweet guinea pigs. Hairless rats are the best. <laughs> Don't say little warm scrotes. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> rats have giant balls. Like, what, why are they like that? But yeah, when Steph showed me this, I was like, oh, I really want to show you, because it's just a happy story, and he's so cute. He's got a nice big cage thing to live in, and he's in a happy home. Oh, look at him! Oh, look at him! He's so happy. Big balls, rat. I love rats are so like intelligent. I wish rats live longer. I know they can't help it, but it's so intelligent. Like, imagine if rats lived on average twice as long, like how smart they would get. Maybe that's why God made their lifespan short, because they knew they'd be too powerful. It's like, oh man, I can't let these live too long. They'll be, they'll be too smart. It's like mega rat brain. 
They had to get nerfed. Yeah. <laughs> They're so smart. Like, I always remember I watched a, a documentary on rats. Like, you know, like how, how they adapt to live wherever they are and the stuff they get up to. And how they use, like, their tails to balance and they would, like, climb up ropes and string and stuff. It's crazy. Like, they're, they're so smart. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, thank you, Rats. Hello, Miss Buddy. How are you doing? I'm in a ward. Yeah. Oh my god, and hamsters as well. The stuff that they can do is scary. They can, like, crawl under doors and things. Hamsters are unhinged. That's exactly what Steph said. Because we got on the topic of talking about hamsters when we, like, first got together. And she says, like, compared to guinea pigs, like, in a guinea pig cage, you can leave the door open and they won't go anywhere. Like, if they've got everything they need, a guinea pig's happy just to stay where it is. But if you leave the door open in, like, a hamster cage, it's like, it's gone. It's like, oh, I got the world, I must go and explore. Why do hamsters escape and perish? <laughs> well, Steph calls them adventure babies. Because they're, like, tiny and they like to go on adventures, so... They just have that wanderlust. They see the open door and they're like, I, I need to I need to go there. I, I've got to go. Go and die under the oven. <laughs> That's terrible. Reminds me of the story. Do any of you guys remember um Dan Howell's story about his hamster that got out, but did just vanish and never came back. How do hamsters do that? And hamster, do, do they just like get in their brain? They're just like, I have to go now. <laughs> Hello, I. How are you doing? Hamsters don't want to be pet. Well, I don't know. It's like, because they they seem to really enjoy, you know, like, you know when you give them lots of sawdust and they build like a maze? They seem to really enjoy that. I think they're just very small and curious. Like, they just want to, like, go everywhere and do everything, you know? I gave my hamster a 60-gallon tank and he said no. <laughs> <laughs> what a sexy hamster! Oh my god! I see the equivalent of like a mansion, and he's like, mm, it's a bit small. <laughs> it was huge. I know, like it. Like I said, prior to knowing Steph, I I knew nothing about like rodents and stuff, and like how they act and behave. I think they're fascinating now. Like, rodents are so, like, smart and cool. Yeah, that's true. Yes, well, because they're, they're, I think their mentality is, like, when parents get it, they're like, oh, well, it's not a cat or a dog, so it won't need walking. It won't, like, poo, poo on the rug and stuff like that. But they have their, they still have their own entire set of needs and things. And uh, with guinea pig, with, like, guinea pigs and, um... Hamsters, rats, you know, all of those. They're way smarter than what people give them credit for. Like, they're so, they're so clever. Especially in you know, it's like it's a conservative letter that he's not being given. Yeah, well, uh, we've told you, <laughs> we've told you guys the story, haven't we? Of like, our pigs know the difference between food and hay and stuff like that. If you get a different brand, they're like, what's, they're like, what's this? I'm like, I don't remember asking for this. They know. No, they're not stupid. They're like, if you're trying to shortchange me. Yeah, and prey animals as well. Yeah, you have to gain. Well, I can only speak from experience of guinea pigs, but um, 
you have to gain their trust. So they won't be like, oh, cute, cuddly friend. Oh, let's play. They won't be like that straight away. No, you have to, you have to work and gain it. Otherwise, they'll just be frightened of you. Like Creston, oh my baby. Creston was the shape. Creston was like a little sausage when we first got him. He was tiny, and he was always compared to a sausage because he was. He was sausage shaped, and he was terrified of everything, every little noise, every little movement. He was terrified of it. But these days, he's like, especially in this house, he's uh, super confident. But he still tells you up when you try to pick him up. Yeah. Like he's napping out in the open behind me at the minute. I'm such a confident boy. Yeah, the same with rodents. The rats are just allowing it. Yeah, exactly. I bet when you get a rat for the first time, a little baby... I bet they, they're they like, oh my god, there's like a giant trying to like grab me. Run! Run! Hairy potato with anxiety to hairy baked potato full of sass. He is a very sassy boy. Like, he, he definitely, like, we don't own them. They, they own us. I think that's one of the most rewarding things of, like, uh, well, not even necessarily just rodents, any pet in general. It's like, you know, you take care of it and you feed it and you love it. And you see it, like, come out of its shell over time and it trusts you and stuff you like that. You know what? We first got Bubble. Adam said that Bubble had no personality. I did, because, like, <laughs> I thought that Bumble didn't have a personality when we first so got him. Rude. No, it's, no, you're right. But it's because, like, Brindle was so confident i was like oh this is how all guinea pigs are because he was the first one we'd ever had i was like oh yeah guinea pigs are really chill they let you fuss them and all that stuff because that's just how brindle was but then bumble came along and he was very skittish and scared and small and i was like oh my god this isn't like brindle at all and that was like my life lesson of like all guinea pigs are different you know just like dogs or cats or rats or you know anything they're all their own little thing and Bumble did have his own personality. He was very strange, and that was awesome. He was yeah. Bumble was so weird. It was it was so cool. One day he smelt like cheese, and I don't know <laughs> why. Just for one day he smelt cheesy, and I checked him all over, you know, to see if anything was wrong. He's fine. And then the rest of his life, he didn't. He never smelt like cheese again. I was like, why do you smell cheesy today, Bumble? Yeah, no, easy that's why I only did it for one day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you're absolutely right, yeah. A pet's a great thing for, like, a parent to get a kid, but they should also teach them, you know, like, this is a living thing that you need to take care of for all, for all of its life. This is a diamond. This little look after the bird. What are you looking? That's why I've said in the past, guys, that if Steph and I ever, like, you know, like that meme, like if they won the lottery, I wouldn't tell anyone, but there'd be signs. That's like. I was doing a vlog one day saying like, oh, good news. We've bought like a cute little house and we're going to be moving in together. And then the vlog, it's like a, a little a little house, but it has like a massive ranch and it's just full of guinea pigs. It's like we've, we did a little upgrade in the garden. Well, <laughs> it's like a, I think we'll get a house one day without having a windmill. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, honey. These are hard times. <laughs> But it wouldn't be a rescue, isn't it? A rescue is where they take them in and rehome them, whereas like a sanctuary is you take them in and you keep them, don't you? It's the same with like horses and stuff like that. And there are dog ones. Hey guys, welcome to our countryside. Oh, that wouldn't that be amazing, guys? That's like I bet that's the dream for like loads of people. A cute little house. Just in somewhere where it's nice and there's trees and things like that and birds. We saw some sparrows today. They nearly flew into Steph's face. They're really tame around here.
They're so tiny and brown. Oh my god, unicorns, that's so true. You don't have to be that's true as well, Paprika. It's like if you if you can put the right color the right shaped peg in the right shaped hole, you're you're pretty much like 99% there. <laughs> <laughs> Smart? Are any of you guys smarter than what people give you credit for? In some ways, but in other ways, I'm a lot dumber than people give me credit for. Not that way, hun. Steph sat there like, God, I'm so smart, but also so stupid. <laughs> dumber, Ejig? No, none of you guys are. None of you are dumb. That's including Steph. None of you guys are dumb. Paprika says, I've definitely been overestimated. <laughs> no! So there we go. Kat says that they're brilliant. There we go. And bring some confidence back to this conversation. You like it when people are oh, you're not dumb. <laughs> not oh bless you guys. None of you guys is dumb. Snuff it. You know what I think, guys? I don't think you're dumb. I feel like you've at some point in your lives you've been made to feel that you're dumb. And you've internalized that. Yeah, when you think about that, eh? And Kat just says, no, I'm great. <laughs> I love that for you. Kat's got all the brain cells. Kat's got all the something. Is this starting to look like Penny? What do you guys think? Penny, is that you? Oh, Pong, thanks for resubbing. How you doing, Pong? That looks like Penny. <gasps> Thank you, Pong! Punk's Punk, like, and, well, until the update dropped, Punk's 100 percent uh Stardew Valley, so that's a big compliment. That must have really been annoying, actually, Punk, to 100% it, and then they update it, and now it's not 100% anymore. I'm sure they're enjoying the new content. It's <laughs> better to waste. Just like my blanket. <laughs> that Festus challenge was a pain. Yeah, I, that's the one where um, the arcade machine inside the... Oh, that one's a pain. That one's terrible. Yeah, you haven't got the... I'm because I'm terrible at that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised.
I can point more down. Oh, you mean like more down? You mean more down like this? Yeah, because she has quite soft. You have to win it with zero deaths. It took so long. Oh my god, my hands would be so sweaty. The other corner. Oh, like these ones. You mean, yeah, I'm also like, um... Like that. Yeah. Okie dokie, Cleo, let's give it a go. I'll go with something like that, and then we erase these ones. Oh, oh, there's a better back. I think you might have been onto something there, Cleo. It's looking soft like Penny. Oh, Penny's a baby. Penny must be protected at all costs. I know Pam has her problems, but I'm sorry, Pam. Pam's the worst. Oh my god, Punk, I'm so glad that you agree. That's very sweet of you to do it, Cleo. Right. What? Let us do some... City Guesser together, what do you reckon? It's getting there, isn't it? I'm glad we've still got the reference there. That's been helpful. I think it'll come together a bit more. You know, when we get the yellow on the shirt. I feel that's quite uh, iconic of Penny. Her cute shirt and stuff. You build it more so for Penny. Oh, Penny, yeah. I haven't seen the turtle yet, Punk. No, is it good? That quite that excited me quite a bit, actually, the idea of having a little turtle friend. Do, 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 do. Turtis. Turtis the turtle. <laughs> God, that's a throwback. Gun. Right. Give me two seconds. I'll set this up for you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, city. Yes, sir. You want it so bad? Oh. Is there an achievement for... I, I suppose there is, isn't there? Is there an achievement for that as well? Do, 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 do. Uh, right, let's go. We want this one. And turn this one on. Hold on, chickadees. Do, do, do. I've got this. Can I stretch this? Oh, yeah, yeah, we can stretch this out. If I put this like here, I think that'll work. Because you should be able to see the map and everything as well. Let's try it like that first. And I'll just change the title and stuff as well. Den I hope there's a Denmark one. go let's change the thing to city guesser as well there we go 
That's cool. I'll just move this up a bit as well. There we go. Right. Uh, I always ask, but I tend to know the answer. Do you guys want to do worldwide? Do you just want to be plopped somewhere, anywhere in the world? Woodwide? <laughs> I would wee 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 want to play woodwide. <laughs> Ooh boo. Yeah? Alright, let's do worldwide then. Let's see where it puts us. Oh man, this one's gonna be hard. Okay, we've got Dolphin Restaurant. I'll turn this down a little bit. There we go. Sahu Tea? Oh my god. Ind India? Cat? Okay. Oh my god, there's a cat! Oh, there's some Japanese there. Whoa, it's like a it's like a huge market type thing. Look at that. Whoa, that's crazy. Oh my god, this one, I don't... This one's gonna be tough. Because I remember that one. Do you remember the one that was in India last time? It was in the mountains, wasn't it? Do you remember that one? That one was really tough, too. Oh, are we near like a huge river or the sea? That might help. Yeah, cat, that's true. Yeah. This one doesn't seem super touristy, does it? Oh, the little pooch. Whoa, it's windy. Like super windy. Yeah, it was interesting there was a Japanese sign there, yeah. This looks like an interesting place. It's almost like it's a beach, but like, not. Because they have like all the umbrellas and stuff. I'm not going to lie, guys. I do not have a clue. <laughs> I've been looking for signs and things as well, but... I mean, this seems like a really popular place to be, like this river thing. But it's not really... But it doesn't look really popular, like, with tourists. It's, like, really popular with, like, locals. The Gan Ganges? Oh, is that what that river is? Is that like a well-known uh, river? I mean, it's huge. Look how big it is. It's very well-known. Oh, well, it could be this then. It's the India River. Oh. 
Oh, and you guys say it's polluted? There's people, like, swimming in it, though. Ah, is it... Sp oh, I see. Okay. So I assume that it would be pretty easy to find on the map, I hope. This river looks pretty big, though. I mean, it's going all the way to the horizon. <laughs> so whereabouts on the river could we be? Really? It's it's. Should we try and... Just while they're walking here, should we try and find just the river? And so let's come down to India. Here's a question for you, though. Whereabouts is it in India, though? Does anyone know whereabouts it is? Is this it? This looks like a big river. Oh, no, that's the Penna River. That's a big river, too. I mean, all rivers lead to the ocean, right? So... It's in the North Collector. Oh, thank you. That's a huge help. Flows into Bangladesh. Okay. Now let's find Bangladesh. Where could that? Where is it? Where is it? I, I feel like this is one of those ones where it's staring me in the face and I can't see it. Oh. <laughs> It's only in, like, the biggest letters. <laughs> oh my god. Meg Magna River? Padma River? Padma River? That's the Padma one. Oh wow, look at that! Look how it splits up, that's crazy. There we go, right. Oh my god, look how long it is. Oh, there's the pad. Okay, so the Padma one's there, so it looks like it ends around here. That's a big river, guys. Oh my god. It's still going. Oh, is, this, is that the source? Oh no, no. It's still. Well, it definitely looks like it's at one of the more populated and widest parts. I mean, because, like, if we just close this, is that, that, that's huge. Like, that looks massive. So it's got to be, like, it's not going to be in, like, where it, like, pinches together. It's got to be one of these, yeah, some, maybe something like these, where it's a, yeah, with a town nearby. And that looks pretty wide. So potentially somewhere near... Oh, and there's a temple nearby. I did see some, like, something to do with religion along these. So it could potentially be along here somewhere. I'm going to put that there. Let's see if there's any more clues. Oh, dude, was there a rest house, cat? Okay. Oh, there's a, there's a tourist. Because it's a place that's... Well built up on our right, and then out to the left and the horizon. That it doesn't really look like there's anything uh, over this side. It doesn't look developed at all. Oh no, he's always doing the washing. That's crazy. So somewhere on the. Ganges, then, that is kind of built up and has some really old-looking buildings. But then, across on the other side, there isn't really anything. I 
Hello, Podowski, how are you? It feels like we're traveling together. I really, I think City Guess is great because, like, with GeoGuessr, you're always clicking and stuff, but uh, with this, it's nice that you can just put it on and talk about, like, what you find. Yeah, look at it, it just keeps going. And the stairs and the architecture and stuff along this bit's really nice. Just looks like you could walk along it forever, doesn't it? It's like we're taking a walk, but we don't have to walk. <laughs> the best of kind. A lot of dogs around as well, aren't they? I wonder if they're strays or if they uh, are owned by like locals. But there are a lot of poaches about. Yeah, it, I was gonna say, each yeah, it must be warm because like like there, there's people literally drying stuff like on the brick, so it, it must be pretty warm. I love like the little buildings like this one that they've got like dotted around it. It said Lucy's Cafe. Oh, they've painted the walls as well there. That's cool. <gasps> no, is that it? Oh, that's not fair. That's kind of a giveaway. <laughs> All right, let's restart. But we already guessed it was the Ganges anyway, so. <laughs> but if we hadn't, that would have been kind of cheaty. Yeah, there's a dolphin restaurant right at the start. Why is it recommending things? Oh my god. It's crazy how it's like that every single one's like a different type of shop and stuff. It's crazy. And there's the Japanese place as well that looks uh, kind of out of place. I wonder what that is. So yeah, so he started at somewhere that was a dolphin cafe with a lot of tea places. Then there's the market and the big river is like over this way. But it's not built up on the other side of the river. And we sort of we sort of had like a vibe that it might have been somewhere around here, but does it get does it get wide uh, next to another like town? Oh this oh but the river wasn't like curved. Oh there's one there. Hmm. Yeah, but these aren't like this isn't it, the, this town or whatever is right on it. Like, you know, it's like the, all the buildings and stuff, stuff are like right on it, like this. I don't know. I have a feeling that I could, you know, it's one of those. I could, I could be completely wrong. I just think it might be here. And there was like a market. I didn't see any road signs or anything. There were some temple stuff and there is temple stuff near it. Such a long river. It's huge. Look how, look how wide the thing is. Although, oh, mind you, they didn't look left. I didn't, although, the, uh, no, I don't think this is a bridge. I think this is a tunnel. I was going to say I didn't see a bridge, but um, it might be a tunnel, actually, looking at that. Hmm. <sighs> Tough 
one, isn't it? I'll take the hit for this one, guys, because this one's a hard one. Let's say it's let's say you know around here. It could be completely wrong. Let's see. Oh, what? Is that the Ganges as well? Oh, it is. Oh my God, what? They were. I don't know. If it was this town, I feel like they're closer to the water than that. That's... That's... Oh, God. That's got to be like a mile or so, right? Wonky GPS. I don't think... If this is the town where it is, you know, I don't think it started there, though. In, in our defense. I think that's too far away. But 130, that's not, I mean, we're what? We're the next big town over kind of thing. God, the Ganges is massive. That's insane. It just goes on forever. Not a bad start, though. Hey, at least it wasn't on the, like, the other side of the world. Let's see what the next one is. That's a good start. <laughs> not a bad one. Now I want to know where that is. Should we go back? Let's do worldwide again. Ooh! Bagels and beans. That sounds like my kind of store. Ungebroken. This looks kind of Dutch. You know, like the roads along along the canals and stuff. Oh, show me the car registrations. That's always really useful. The Ganges is huge, yeah. I think we did pretty good with that one. I mean, Grant, it was over 100 miles, but I think we did pretty good. Oh, there's writing in it. Look at that. Whoa, look. is that like a... Um, is that done with, like, fountains? That's crazy. Oh, boom, there's... Do you see the little bird making a nest up there? Look at him! It's like one snack. It is, yeah. Cat, it's very clean. Like, look how clean it is. I still have, like, Dutch vibes. You know, like Netherlands. But let's see. I've never been anywhere this clean. Yeah, oh my god. Oh no, what does that... No! What does that say? It's too flashy. It's very... European, I would say. Like, I'm pretty sure this is somewhere in Europe. God, give me a sign or something, though. Oh, there we go. There's a URL that says .nl. So that it is the Netherlands, but where in the Netherlands? That's a really fancy building. Oh, wow, look at that. Is that what it, did you think that was? It was church? No way. God, it is. It's, it's, uh, wherever it is, it's spotless. Like, there isn't even any, like, trash, like, blowing around. God, what is, what kind, is that, like, an office or a hotel, maybe? Oh my god, X-Men. Yeah, look at that. Even the back streets are really tidy. Yeah, it's a bit... Yeah, I was going to say, you check, yeah, a bigger city, yeah. Especially with, like, the fancy buildings and stuff as well.
Uh, the, luckily for us, the Netherlands isn't super big. I don't think I've seen a street sign. Well, a readable street sign or anything yet. There's one over there. Get closer. No! How many IMAXs the country of the Netherlands can have? <laughs> And it's obviously a city that's got trams and stuff as well. Rotterdam? It could be Chuckles, yeah. I don't I mean I like I don't think it's like Amsterdam. Again, so many of they love their bikes, don't they? So many bikes. Ah, oh, so they've sort here they've sort of gone round in a big circle. Because there yeah, there's that bridge again. Noppies. <laughs> I want to see your noppies. <laughs> I'm so uncultured, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, and it's a bit. It is. It's a a big city as well. It's got some really big buildings. Noppies can be the new. What was it that you guys say? Big naturals. Oh god, yeah. Look at the size of those. It's got to be somewhere that's pretty big and built up. It's huge! Is that a Marriott, I think? A Marriott Hotel? I think it was like the logo, or like the M, so somewhere in the Netherlands that's reasonably built up that I don't think is Amsterdam and has a really big potential Marriott Hotel in. And looks kind of arty too, there's like sculptures and stuff around. It's very pretty. Like with all the trees and stuff. Uh, I bet in winter, you know, if they get some uh, snow and stuff, I bet it looks really pretty. Tram, tram house, tram house. Is that the tram house? Tram house. Lager man. <laughs> oh, it's a lager man. oh my god, look! That's a good looking duck. Do you guys know what kind of duck it was? You get bonus points if you can name that duck. Yeah, it's a man. Well done, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mine. <laughs> it's a mallard, baby. Yeah, it's even more built up, like on on that right Dutch escort. Uh oh, I don't think we should be going this way. Oh god, yeah, it's it's a bit. This is this is a lot bigger than. <gasps> Why is that gnome holding an anal plug? What the hell is that? Put that down. <laughs> I'm sorry, but what else could that be? That's a... what else could he be holding? Good lord! We'll have to train up to that one. Oh my god. Okay, so when we look on the map, we have to look for giant butt plug gnome. <laughs> oh, big cow! What an interesting place this is. 
They love like their sculptures and stuff, don't they? I have to know where this is. Oh well, well don't worry. Well, I don't know if we'll necessarily guess it close, but uh, we'll definitely find out where it is. It's got to be a big city, hasn't it? it this place is huge. Right, so let's come on down to the Netherlands. Luckily, the Netherlands isn't super big. And right at, oh yeah, there is like where the Hague is as well. I don't think it's Amsterdam though. I don't know. It just doesn't. I don't know. It just doesn't feel like it to me. So maybe Rotterdam. Does Rotterdam have an IMAX or a big Marriott hotel? It did have one of those. One of the it was a Path Cinema. Does it have a Marriott nearby? That's an Overtel. Mm. But it also had a canal. Yeah, it had a canal nearby as well, didn't it? I'm going to take a, <laughs> a group picture in front of the gnome. It could do it like, you know, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa ones. You're like holding up the butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and it has like trams too. That's another good sign. So that it ticks that box, but so we're looking for a place that has like tram stops, but is also like running alongside uh like a canal somewhere, realistically, but but where? Because it was like running... At the start of the video, the tram thing was like um, running parallel with uh, one of these. And this one's very windy. I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> yes. No, yeah, you are right. It, it's, it's not like one of these. No, it was... It was very shallow as well. Oh, I just want to know where it is. Oh. Oh. There's a cinema. There's tram lines. Oh, there's like oh, there's there's a small canal with a tram line running parallel next to a cinema. There's a Marriott. I think we found it. No way. Have we just found this? That's insane. Have we just found where it is? This could be it. And there's the little bridge that they went across. No. Have we found it? Should we try? Should we see? Oh! <laughs> we were spotted! That's crazy! No, I did not think we would get spot on. That's nuts! No way! So it was, it was Rotterdam. That's, that is, no, well done guys, that's nuts! We only had like three things to go off, the cinema, the hotel and the church, and we managed to find it, well done! Intuition is off the charts today. What I'll do is I'm gonna I need to grab myself a drink. So what I might do in the in the meantime. Oh no no no! Can I go back? I tell you what, I'll let you guys try and guess one by yourselves because I, I really need to grab a drink. My throat's like super dry, so I'll put this on. I'll be right back, and let me know if you see anything significant. Okay, I'll be back in just a second, guys.
Hello, friendos. Where the heck are we? Chinese? We're in China? A child. Oh yes, Sparkle, yeah. Like, oh, it says Washington on that sign. Is that like a sign to Washington? Maybe we're in what? Does Washington have uh, a ch like a Chinatown? Is that what you guys are thinking? Oh, are, the, are they? Oh, there's California plates on the car. Oh, then it it must be. Does California have a Chinatown? I assume so. Yeah, if they if they're all California plates, then it's uh, pretty safe to say that's where it's got to be. <gasps> Zippos, toys, world of magnets. Oh my god, that's like Echek's worst nightmare. Let's take each egg to the world of magnets. <laughs> Don't take me in there! <laughs> Miss Fabi says, I don't think it's Las Vegas world. Las Vegas? There's a Las Vegas world? Oh, it's hilly. Look at that. That's steep. Oh my god, that just says pain. Oh no! Yeah, San Francisco, yeah. He's got some steep gradients. That's a tall lady. Oh my god. Yeah, and I was going to say, there's a lot of, like, jewellery shops as well. Yeah, the lantern. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's really pretty as well. Again, that's very... St oh, wow. Look how built up that is. So we're in, I would say, a very built up area that has a Chinatown then. E-check says gay. Did we see something gay? Oh, that says 700 Grant Avenue there. That'll be useful. 700... Sacramento? Oh, so it is San Francisco. <gasps> We're getting closer. So it's San Francisco. Oh, we're geniuses. Look at us go. Should, should we go take a quick look at uh, San Francisco real quick? Is there... I would assume there's got to be a Chinatown in San Francisco then, but the question is where? Did you say there was a park nearby? Yoda Fountain? Oh my god! <laughs> Come to the Yoda Fountain, you will. <laughs> Portsmouth Square Park, is that what it was called? You guys are good. Portsmouth Square. Do you think it might be one of these? 
There was a, there was a sign, was there? Oh, this oh this Japan. We're not in Japan Town now, are we? <laughs> not here. Oh, oh. Oh. Look at this! Oh, it's taking all the boxes. Willy Woo Woo Wong Playground, Sand Floor, Textbook Floor. It's a... No, it's this one. It's got to be the Portsmouth one, right? Popular park and local gathering place. Did you guys say it started here? It makes sense, though, because we've seen signs for Washington and Clay. And there's Grant Avenue, which was where that restaurant was. So it's it's got to be, like, somewhere here. Put the little thing there. Close to the park, should we see? Well done, guys. You're good at this. Oh. 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 Spot on again. Oh my god. Well done. You did it. I didn't even really help with that one. <laughs> that was all you guys. Well done. That's incredible. That's two for two. All right, let's see where it takes us next. Ooh. Oh, it's nice and sunny. And we're in like a suburb. They drive on the right. What? Someone's getting fancy with the video editing there. Oh, there's a Cherry Street. And First Street. So an intersection with Cherry and First. Palm trees. Someone in a chair next to the... <laughs> it's very pretty, uh, wherever it is, isn't it? It's very well kept. Very clean. Lots of trees. Bit windy. I wonder if we're near like a river or the sea. It's very quiet as well, isn't it? Oh, wow. Look at that house. That's a nice shaped house. Yeah. A license plate. Yeah. They're always like super useful. Seems like a really nice area, though. I don't know why, but it gives me, like, near the ocean vibes. I could be... I, again, I could, could be completely wrong. It just seems very beach towny. Oh, what? No, no. Oh. Is that the ocean? Go that way. That looks oceany. No! It did. It certainly looked oceany. It looked very blue over there. That said, Atlantic Beach Institute. Does is there an Atlantic Beach in um in America? God, that narrows it down. <laughs> Oh, hey, Rias, how are you doing? Atlantic Ocean points to it being Florida and not... Maybe? I can't get over how quiet it is. Seems like such a, like a sleepy, quiet place to live. Pete's Hut and Pete's Bar. It doesn't look... I mean, it doesn't look super built up either. Like, all the buildings are, like, single-story. 
There's no like massive buildings like there was in the one before. <laughs> what more could Pete? Pete's like a real estate mogul. <gasps> okay, that looks like it's a hotel. Before it gets dark. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, that's a that's a big hotel. I want that must have like ocean views and stuff. Then I would imagine. Um. <laughs> uh. It doesn't say that the video stopped. This might just be another editing trick that Grandpa used. I guess we need to restart. I think that is the end of it. All right, let's restart it. <laughs> no, you're kidding me. After all that? I can't go back. If I go back, it'll jump out of it and we won't get the same one again. Can I rewind it? <laughs> I think it's broken. Like, it's playing the sound, but not the video. Because I can hear all the uh, wind and the birds, but the video's not there. <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna be- oh, that's gonna like drive me nuts. We were getting close to it. That one might have to be one for another time. I don't think we're gonna be able to bring that one back. Unless, unless, if you guys want to find out where it is, we can go to Florida and try and guess somewhere. And then find out where it is. But would it be on the... Do you guys think it'd be on the east? Or the... or the uh, Yeah, the east or west side. It always blows my mind that the, Bah the Bahamas is so close to Florida. Things on the east side? Whereabouts on the east side? Where did you, like, feel roughly where it would be? Oh, yeah, that's the Atlantic... Yeah. I wonder if there's, a, like, a landmark for Atlantic Beach, then. Because that would get us... That would get us pretty dang close from the get-go. Here we go. Oh, there's a lot... Oh, there's... <gasps> What's this? Oh! Atlantic Beach? <laughs> Now to find a hotel. You mean the one ocean resort and spa? <clears throat> oh, I think we might be getting close. Getting close in absolute darkness. Yeah, we passed a first street. I can't believe we're completing this one in complete darkness. Yeah, we definitely passed the first one. And I'm pro I think there was a First and Cherry. I think it was First and Cherry Street. Oh, the Sherry Drive? Maybe it was Sherry and not Cherry. See if you can find the tunnel. <laughs> it might be around here. Because he walked around a place that intersected with first, and I thought it said Cherry, but maybe it was Sherry instead. So maybe somewhere around here. Oh, is Cherry for... There is a Cherry? Lemon? Oh, is it all like fruit? Orange? Oh, that's adorable. Look at that. Oh, there we go. There's an interesting with Cherry and first. They're all named after like... Oh, that's so adorable. Fruits and nuts and stuff. Oh, and trees. Oh, that's adorable. What a cute idea. 
suggested you change your middle name to a shoe the other day. Yes, yes. Steph wanted Steph because I don't have a middle name. Steph wants me to have um, a nut because Steph is Steph's Hazel and she suggested cashew. And I'm like, well, they're nice nuts, but I don't know. If it's good for a name. Should we say around? Is, no, that's not. That's Second Street, isn't it? This is first. <laughs> Should we try this one? Adopt Steph's middle name. She suggested that as well. Adam Hazel. <laughs> All right, let's get. Let, if, I tell you, if we get anywhere close to this, considering we can't even replay it, you are kidding me. Oh. Three! Three in a row. Three in a row. And we couldn't even replay that one. That was such a good call saying that it was Florida because of uh, Atlantic Beach. That's big brain. Well done, guys. Three in a row. Macadamia? It's, well, it's got my name in it. Macadamia would be a good one. We'll never find out what happened. His edits were so good. He edited himself into another dimension. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Well done. Ooh. Oh, wow. Is this like a museum or something? Oh, my God. There's a giant skeleton on the ceiling. Is that a whale? Isn't it crazy how whales evolved from, like, weird dog-looking things? Oh, that says California's Cathedral Presents. So I wonder if we're in a... Oh, forests, rather. Oh, is that like a redwood? I wonder if we're in a, a museum in California, then. Did you guys know that we grow... Uh, redwoods in this country because like climate change is like threatening them in um, California and places so we've started growing them here apparently they do really well here as well for some reason we have more redwoods than California oh my god Oh, that's a coastline. No, show me that. We're really good with coastlines. <laughs> it's cool to get like a, a tour of this like museum thing though. Oh, that says San... Wait, wait, wait. That said San Francisco something. Is this... Enter here, San Francisco Shakes. Now, is that San Francisco, or are they offering me some kind of drink? Whoa, look at that. It's like a big greenhouse thing. Like, right in the center? That's nuts. Oh, there's water. Oh! It's a sensory palace. Oh, they got giant pillars as well. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, what's down there? Show me down there. Everyone's looking at it. What? No, that's such a tease. What's down there? It did say, yeah, there was uh, an aquarium. That, yeah, that there. Oh my god, I wonder what kind of building this is then. It's got an aquarium, a planetarium. It's got like fossils, plants. N yeah, like a natural history museum, maybe. 
<laughs> Look, it looks massive as well. Everyone's looking at cool stuff on the ground, and this guy's not looking. <gasps> Galactica says, California Academy of Sciences. Ooh, that's cool. Is that, that like a photo made up of little photos? Oh my god, this guy's ADHD is worse than mine. Just stop and look at something for a second. <laughs> stop, let me read. Courtship dance? Oh my god, you can, like, court a spider? Well, we've got a name from Galactica, so I guess we should have a look. We don't, that is true, we didn't buy a ticket, yeah. Oh, look, my plan. Is that a monster, or whatever you call it, the big one? I think it was you guys that told me what a monster was. I know you guys are big into your plants, so I know that you'd be able to tell the difference. So it's the California Academy of Sciences that is in San Francisco. That's from Galactica. So let's go have a look. Back in San Francisco again. <laughs> is that going to be like in like a really... I, I would assume it's somewhere. Oh, the guy's a dinosaur. Wait a second. <laughs> look at his little hands. <laughs> it's like me when I'm doing housework. Rawr. Yeah, it's like, it's a Jurassic Park T-Rex. Right, let's try and find this place that Galactica reckons it is. Christmas tree. Oh, there we go. There's a Randall music. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This looks like it's a pretty... Jesus, it's a... <laughs> it's a big old place. So Galactica believes it is this building. Oh yeah, there's the shake house, and we saw that shake thing, didn't we? And there's the planetarium, we walked past that sign. I think, it, is this going to be four in a row? <laughs> what do you reckon? Oh my god! Four in a row! Actually, crazy. Okay, one more. Let one more. Let's see if we can do five for five. That might. I think if we do five in a row, I think that'll be our new record. I'm sure we've done four in a row before, but I don't think we've ever, we've ever done five. Ooh, <laughs> this looks doable. We're somewhere in Europe. Oh, what's that? Oh, show me the license plate. They brought us to the museum because they know we're smart. Where in Europe could this be? Oh, I think it's France. I think I think I can see F's on the license plates. I think it says... Oh, mind you, no, that is like a German bar, though. Oh, but, but then again, France and Germany are next door, aren't they? But that was a cafe! <laughs> oh, cafe! I mean, that there's a huge building landmark that will help once we get a few more clues. It's, again, very pretty wherever it is. <laughs> very, very pretty. That's what. Oh. oh, that's a cute building, isn't it? You never been to one, Rich? Oh my god.
The uh, British Museum's meant to be a good one, but none of the stuff in it is from here. <laughs> wow, look at that building with the statues and stuff. That's nuts. I wonder what I wonder what that building is. Like, uh, is it like a government building or? I'd assume it's probably. Oh, we're in a big square. You'd be there for hours. Oh, they were so cool. Wow, yeah, this is... Oh my god, there's another one over there. Is it like two identical buildings? That's weird. Oh, do you think it's Berlin? There's, there's like a spiritual energy telling me this is Berlin. <laughs> if only we had more clothes! <laughs> what? So, concert... Oh, concert house. Concert house. Jesus, that's really grand for, like, a concert hall. So, Concert House Berlin. Wow, they were gifting this one to us, weren't they? I assume that that's got to be somewhere in the middle. And it has a big square. Oh, wow, someone's playing the violin nearby, too. Oh, it's a paper pooch! I thought it was going to show us the violin player, but I don't think it is. Right, where is it? Where is Concert House? They want us to see... Yeah, if we can get this one. If, I, if we can get this, this will be a new record, yeah. Mall of Berlin. It's got to be somewhere. Checkpoint Charlie. It's got to be somewhere in the middle, surely. Computer Science Museum. Mercedes. Molecule Man. <laughs> I think he lives in the river. Molecule Man. <laughs> he lives in the... <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Molecule Man. See um Jurassic Oh Jurassic World Aquarium I would have thought they this would be on the map like one of the main things. Where else could it be? God, it's, isn't it pretty though? Look at the, the size of it. Like there's one of those like either side and then there's this in the middle. It's huge. And it's got like a massive square out front, so... Oh no, that's a film one. Why would they be hiding that? I, I would have thought that would have been... I thought like, like this, you'd be able to see it, but... Unless it's further out, but... But it gets very uh, rural out of the like immediate area, so <clears throat> we need this one. I want to uh, like a new record; it'd be great. You 
museum, gallery. See, this is where I think it'd be, you know, where, where like all the arts and stuff are. Oh, the Kit Kat Club? That sounds amazing. Or, um... Why are you hiding? Oh, there's a music thing there. I don't... Nah, it can't be. I don't think so. It's not like a park area either. Berlin, Berlin's done this before. Like we would look, we. Found that um, it was a government building for Berlin, wasn't it? And that one stumped us as well. I think he's just gone around in a big circle. Pedestrianized square with a tower. Well, I don't think that any of these buildings had like a tower though, did they? Why must we be always... I don't know. Well, it just seems to be a maze and it's not even that big. No hotels. That's just European cities. Where would it? It's got to be. It's got to be somewhere in the center, just by like all the uh, buildings and stuff. Imagine if this isn't in Berlin now. I think I would cry. It's not that one. Collection of European drawings. Ah, so this is another museum. Museum. A library. See, so it feels like it would be in this area, but... Legoland. Oh, so Berlin's got Legoland, really? See, I don't think it's... It's a bit too fancy to be the Six Packs Theatre and Ladies Club, I don't... <laughs> I don't think it's that one. There's a spy museum. Yeah, you'd think it's like when we were looking for the Great Wall of China, cat. Looking forever to find that. That is not on the map. That is not labeled properly on the map, guys. There's a hotel. It's a forum. I'm just looking for places that have like big sort of squares because it was massive. Berlin Dungeon? Okay, I don't think it's that one. You're at the really, really. Like we can't, I can't let this one go. We've got to find this one. Oh, 
Oh, wait. Oh, no. It's just a theater. Because I'm thinking it'd have one of these, lo uh, like, logo things. You know, the masks? <laughs> what shops are we passing? Do you want me to restart it? There wasn't a lot of street signs. But we did walk past the cafe. There's a sign at the end of this road? Okay. Oh yeah, it's a, what was that? It said like Charlotte something. Yeah, should we try again? It, I'm sh it, to me it looked like Charlotte something. Oh my god, can you slow the video down? Is that new? Oh my god, that's incredible! Charlottenstraley. This almost feels like cheating. Charlottenstraif. Charlottenstraif? Oh, and you can speed it up too. That's amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this one's. I get Berlin so tough. And this, like. Berlin's like a place that just doesn't seem to have signs. Like, they just don't like them. <laughs> Knowing where you are is not a stay. <laughs> I mean, just looking at these, just looking at these buildings make me think that it's built up and it must be, it must be somewhere in the, in the center. Like it has to be. Like something like something like this, you know, like these and stuff. What did the building say? What you want to go back? Which one? Berlin, Brand, Brandenburg. The oh my god, it's very German. Let's do. Oh, let's do it in slow mo. We can do that now. Berlin, Brandenburg, Anna. Oh my god. The Wissenschaften. It's a school. That's a, wow, that's a fancy school. Jeez. Okay, that if it's a school that's opposite this, that alone is going to be a help. Because in this part of the video, we just sort of like, uh, it just looks around the building. Mm-hmm. 
There's like nothing there though. There's so many like big squares, but it seems so empty. Based around the arts reaction, which makes me think it's like right in the middle. Let's see, let's keep, maybe it will point something out to us. Let's see if we missed anything. My stubbornness is off the charts for this one. Big, yeah, big square with some big buildings. It screams of like being in, just being in the middle. Yeah, it's definitely like a, a con like a concert or opera house or something like that. Or theater, maybe. I don't know, and it's like windy. So is it, is it like, is it just windy because it's open, or is it windy because it's near like a river, maybe? Because there is a river that goes through Berlin. But, I mean, it looks cool, but it's not giving us, like, any hints, is it? That's the only thing. So this is, like, the center. Yeah, this is the center, isn't it? And there's, there's a river here. Yeah, and there's all these like different like squ like well they look like squares but uh do, 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 do. Let's see if it gives let's see if it gives us anything else can we go back yeah sure Oh, there is some, yeah, there. Hold on, hold on. Let's enhance. It's like we have bullet time vision. We've got it. We've got to get this one. We've got to. Oh, I think it's too far away to to make out. Oh, that's such a shame. Are you kidding me? It's too, it's too far away. Do, do. There's a sign in the top left, was there? I think that might just be a parking sign. Yeah, I think that's just telling you that you can't park there. Oh, 
Oh, go back, go back before that. Okay. Like here? Around here? You guys are so good at picking up, like, the, the details. Like, God. Alright, let's see. Let's see. The sign comes close to us on our left. <gasps> hold on, hold on. Let me... Let's get close to it and I'll slow it down. Franzo... How do you even say that? Oh, thank you, Kat. Yeah. Franzo she. Well, it's Straff is straight, isn't it? I think. Oh, a clue. An actual clue. So I wonder if we can find that. How close have we got to get in to see these street names? Strab. Sparen. Strab. Rand Street. Oh, there's a square there. Oh gosh, you really have to zoom in to get these street names, don't you? It's like disorientating because it's like I can't find... Is it this one? Franzo Sish... Oh no, they haven't like abbreviated it to Friends Street, have they? That'd be so sneaky. Oh yeah, there's that Charlotten Street. It's got to be around here somewhere. Because we saw that at the start, didn't we? Charlotten Street and this Friends Street? <gasps> we've got to be close. Oh, we've got to be close to it. Where is it then? That's a cathedral, but it's not a cathedral that we're looking at. <gasps> oh my god, we found it. Concert House Berlin. That, that was what was written on the front of it, right? No way. Is this it? Oh! <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh my gosh. Well done, guys. We did it! Five out of five! That's incredible. Well done. That's a new record, guys. Well done. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely nuts. Yeah, that one was tough. Berlin is a hard place to figure out where you are. Oh my god. Well done. That's insane, guys. Five in a row? Unheard of. The next time we play, we'll have to try and do six in a row. <laughs> but for now, right, I do a pre- Oh, that was amazing, guys. Right, I need to run for now. Uh, I'm going to go mess with the Discord and try and set that thing up. I will be back tomorrow, though. And tomorrow is the day Steph and I are going to try and do the Stardew Valley stream together on our own little farm thing. So thank you for joining us today. I had a great time. Thank you. This was awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day. Oh, chickadees. <laughs> My little chickadees. And I will see you tomorrow, okay, guys? You have a nice day now. Bye-bye.